Yes, Chad, this evening the personal and the professional collide as I play a game what Millie is in. Party and go forth in search of adventure while Millie berates you and makes you feel bad as a human being. But then realize it was only fair on account of all those natural ones you've been rolling, you absolute f***ing loser. This is your daily reminder about the pandemic, but that's all over now. Instead of that, we've got Los Angeles having a hurricane, a flood, a tornado, a hurricane, an earthquake, forest fires, and uh, Republicans. And so, Chad, sit back, relax, as guest star Amelia Tyler teaches me how to play a video game. Adventures through Twitch. Crimpit and friends forever. <laughs> no, oh, I got ruined. Welcome oh, to so my furious. show, where I sing like a cat. I'm so furious. What do you call a mountaintop guarded by rogues? A sneak peek. Okay, I like that. I like that. I'll allow that. Uh, whoever did the crimpet card, you ruined two hours of work. Get, I just, it was you. Mal, you ruined your own treat. I'm so, I'm just furious. Words cannot describe my fury. All right. Words cannot describe my fury. And as such, I'm going to play it for Mal so he can enjoy it. Mary, ready? Ready? Here we go. This is the new updated, hello there, stream loads card. Hello there. <laughs> yeah, I am an idiot. All right, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. I just don't care. All right. It's great. I, d I did have him full screen, but it just felt a bit intrusive. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Can't believe you ruined your own surprise, Mel. Yeah. It's amazing what you can find uh, green screened these days, by the way. I'm just saying, you're a mate. It's just when you type in anything. And they're like, D -d 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 hello there, green screened. Somebody's already chroma keyed for me. They've done most of the work for me. Uh, I just need to edit up the audio and everything so it all synced in. That's very good. That's very good. Oh, good. Sire Mally has purchased 10 chests. Ah, thank you very much for purchasing 10 chests. And undoubtedly, plenty more hello there's to come. Ah, uh, hello there. Hello there. But yes, chap. Me, this giant orange, uh, will be playing Baldur's Gate 3 today. Um, also, I forgot, let me, let me just, you know, let me just loop back here and say Elmo, 20 months. Thank you, Elmo. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll allow it even though you did make a terrible joke. Yeah. yeah. Oh God. I regret it already. Hello there. I regret it. Where is he? He's on my right hand. Okay. I regret it already. Yeah. I don't like this. I don't like this. It does work on all the screens, though. Yeah. Yeah. I've got more if you think they might be better. No, no. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Well, I will say this. It works on any screen where Gresney is. Because um, I realize now I've... Ch I've ch you don't care. <laughs> you, don't, you don't care. Why do paladins prefer chainmail? Because it's holy armor. You care deeply? Well, Hoop, what I realized was is what I use a lot of in OBS to make things a lot more streamlined and effective is nested scenes. So I, rather than adding Gresney to every single scene where Gresney needs to appear, I create one scene with all the Gresneys in, and then I just add that scene to the scenes where I need Gresney. See, then I don't have to. And then if I want to change a position of Gresney, I just move it on one scene and it moves it on every scene where Gresney appears, right? So I was like, well, I can just use that as an overlay scene that I have in lots of other scenes. So I added Obi-Wan Kenobi to the Gresney boot scene, you see? 
Oh, nested scenes in OBS, it, you 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 just have to. I could go on for ages about like this. My webcam is a nested scene because it means, for example, I'll give you a reason why it's really, really useful. And yes, I am going to nerd out for a second. And you know what? You can all just fucking deal with it. Okay. You only have one camera source, right? So my Sony uh, A5100 is my camera, right? If you add that to this scene and then my news scene where the camera is black and white, it makes applying the filter really hard because if you apply it to the camera, the camera is black and white everywhere, right? Whereas you don't want it black and white in every single scene. So what you do is you put the camera as a video source in a scene that is just your webcam. So I have webcam and then I have webcam brackets news and I apply the black and white filter to the webcam news scene rather than the webcam itself. And then you can fuck around with your camera in all sorts of fun ways without ruining it in every single scene. Hey, Bert. Oh! Fucking hell, Grizzly. Big Grizzly! It's the big Grizzly. Uh, so basically, chat, you all have to sit and talk to me until uh, Amelia Tyler arrives. Uh, if you don't know who Millie is, how? How do you not know who Millie is? Uh, she's an internet celebrity now, chat. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> uh, I'm going to check something. I'm going to check something because I, I, I'm like Millie's biggest fucking cheerleader right now because I'm just like, ah, ah, this is happening. This is happening. Millie, look at this. All right. Has it happened yet? Oh, it's so fucking close. One of her TikToks is nearly a million views. That's how I'm... In fact, two of her TikToks are nearly a million views. And I've just been fucking sat there going, go on, go on, go to a million. Go on. For no other reason than I like... <laughs> than I like crowd numbers. But I mean, cheering her on. That's what I mean. So I'm sat there literally just going, come on, go to a million, go to a million. Uh, but yes... Millie's had a Millie's had a couple of weeks, and we'll talk to her about those when she uh, she comes up. Yeah. We're gonna have her on camera and on voice today. It's rather sexy, isn't it? Um, am I gonna go into Baldur's Gate three? Obviously, I'm gonna be I am gonna be I am gonna be playing Dark Urge. One because I am a messed up individual. Two because Millie said so. Three, it'll just be chaos. And four, what I'm feeling is a Dark Urge wizard. Basically, here's, here's going to be my inspiration for my character is uh, I want to be Hela. Right? Do you remember from Thor Ragnarok? A goddess of death. You know, all that fun stuff. I highly recommend against Dark Urge for your first run. I hear your recommendation and I yeet it. And I yeet it away. I'm currently playing Dark Urge wizard. See? And it's definitely Idris's first run. You know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah, totally. You missed a lot of content because of it. Yeah, but I can play it again, Elman. I'm going to do a playthrough with Millie, too. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. You missed a lot of content by uh, being awesome. Yeah. I mean, it depends how, how mean I'm going to be in Dark Urge. I could tread a fine line. I don't have to take everybody's limbs. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> It's tempting. It's tempting to uh, create a party that is me, Karlak, and Astarian simply because uh, the actors who play Karlak, Samantha Bayer, and Astarian, Neil Newborn, are friends of mine. Like, I know them both, right? So I kind of like the idea of going on a party with my, <laughs> with my voice actor friends, <laughs> narrated by Millie. Um, so that could be quite fun, but we shall see. Um, but yeah, it's been wonderful to see the response that the voice acting is, uh, got. It's phenomenal. I'm unbelievably happy for Millie, obviously. Uh, and also for Sam, uh, like Neil, Neil Newborn, obviously he, he's fantastic as a starian as well. Um, uh, but he's like, he's, you know, he's already a known entity, if you know what I mean. He's such a solid actor. He's worked in so many uh, huge productions. Um, but like Sam, I'm really happy because this is a uh, not pivotal role, like title role, but like blowout role. Um, uh, she, and she's wonderful. She's just a lovely, lovely 
decent fucking person as well, which always makes it nice. Uh, I like to see good people get good things. You know what I mean, chat? Breakout roll. Thank you, Safi. That's what I was... Uh, that, that was the one I was looking for. Yeah, breakout roll. Um, yeah, it's just nice. It's nice to see good people having good things happen to them. It's adorable. Like, this indus industry is... Uh, is... Uh, what do you call it? Is fucking harsh. So it's nice to see good stuff happening for good people. You know, and Millie as well, I guess. You know, whatever. <laughs> I'm so proud of Millie, and I'll say it before she gets on. But Millie's been working in, in this acting gig for 30... Wait, hang, hang on. 37 years now? Consummate professional. Can do reads with a deafness I have not seen from anybody else else and she has slowly and quietly been diligently doing the fucking work every single day every single time she steps into the booth she is a phenomenal phenomenal actor um and i'm you know i'm a hunt chap so i wouldn't be saying this if she wasn't phenomenal and it's just so lovely i don't know that sounds quaint you know what i mean lovely but it is genuinely lovely to just see everybody else now getting to see and realize just how fucking great she is it's lovely but isn't she like 30 wait hang on <laughs> there you go um she doesn't look a day older she doesn't look a day older you know what they say you're only as young as the man you feel no way that doesn't work i'm 38 Psst, chat what point do i say i just joined stream as he started saying all that I'd leave it, Millie, till afterwards so I can be embarrassed later. Yeah. I'm delighted to see her doing so well. She truly deserves it. Don't know what you mean, Droogie. Don't know what you mean. No. No. What, what you don't know, actually, is Millie just stood in the booth and I did the lines. It's all me. No, yeah, it's all me. You're 38, but act like you're five. Ow. Wow. KJ, you can go. Millie's here. All right, cool. Thanks, everybody. Uh Hey, welcome on uh, I'll see you later. Uh, Millie, Millie's here. I'm going now. All right. Cheers. Bye. All right, Millie. Uh, just... No, no. <laughs> Hello there. Crimpit and Heath. We could do the whole stream as Crimpit and Heath. Right. Hang on. What do I click now? Uh, why is everybody on dead or on fire? How do I? I don't know. Why does that hello there come with every sound card, though? It comes with every... <laughs> It comes with every time you play the hello there sound card, Mal. <laughs> or at least it should only come. I didn't play hello there. Wait, what? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh -oh. oh, no. I don't know why it's doing that. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. No, stop it. I will pause it. Hello? Oh, God. Uh. All right, hang on. I'm going to have to disable that now. Uh. I'm genuinely intrigued. Bye forever. See, there you go. I mean, that won't work now because I've literally disabled it, so it's fine. Copy. No. No. Jesus Christ. Why are you all playing sound cards now? Uh, but yes, Millie, please do come and uh, join me. We can join on voice first if you like. Uh, then we can uh, get you on video. Hi, Banwell. Hi, Dojipan. Uh, there was a follow in there somewhere. Uh, Gimnak, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. Uh, oh, wait. Welcome bad, on in. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. There are new That's people, chat. Oh, Please, I will turn them off, chat. I will turn them off. All right, where is Millie? Millie, do you want to get on voice first? You did this to yourself. I know, why did I think chat could have any modicum of control? Hi, I'm new here. Jess. Hi, Jess. How you doing? Sea of monkeys. Monkey tennis. Scatter. Oh, Scatter. Welcome on the adventure. Welcome in, Colonel Slanders. 
If she kind of slanders, that sounds good. You know, you want some fried chicken and libel? Oh, chat, I may, I may have created a, a character for Atlas to RP. I'm just saying, okay? I may, I may have come up with a character to RP in Atlas. If we oh, so decide. Wait. Welcome on the adventure. <laughs> He's going to be. Jesus Christ. Is it Guybrush Threepwood? No, but that would be good. It's Scooter, isn't it? No, no, no. His name's Bartholomew T. Ironside. He's going to be Jesus Christ. And that's just so I could uh, ex exclaim Jesus Christ all the time. Uh, Sam Size, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on him. Millie, stop responding now. I think she might be dead. Is it Bert? No! It's Bartholomew T. Ironside. Yeah. Quite the chaos in stream today, I know. Can't fucking trust him, can you? She's left for a gallon of milk. I don't know where she's gone. Never came back. Oh no, wait, hang on, I've got a message. It's Millie. Hang on, how do we link up with voice? Normal Discord call. If you're ready. There we go. My buddy made Jesus his monk when we played Celeste together. <laughs> uh, I like that. All uh, right, hang on, chat. We're going to bring Millie in. See if this works. Steady. Hold. Chat, chat. Hello. <gasps> Hello, <laughs> Millie. Hello, Jay. Why does that sound so much like an announcement? Because I was announcing. Oh. Yeah. Hi, Billy. Hey. Can you hear me? I can. Can you hear me? I can't. Oh, is that, are we doing base proximity stuff now? No, I wasn't. Why is the, oh. the new mic sounding happy? Oh, I forget that you're on a new mic. This is the first yeah. time I've actually spoken to you on... Uh... Why am I rich and bassy and chocolatey? No, because it's Discord, so it's getting compressed to shit. Boo! Boo, Discord! Why are we even bothering? Why are we bothering? <laughs> Hello, Millie. Hi, Jay. How's uh, it going? It's going, it's going all right. How, how are you? It's been I, I'm all right. Yeah. I'm all right. I had, a, I had a little bit of an eyeliner mishap, but everything's fine. And then Lola did what Lola does and had to deal with that for a bit. But where, it's all good now. Where is, where is Lola? She, she is gonna... next to me on the cat tree. We'll see how that goes. I've literally fixed cat cam today and she isn't here. She knows. Lola! She knows you, you made effort. I'm so upset. I'm not, I'm not that upset. I do want to get you on camera though to see your yeah, do it. eyeliner mishap. Um, okay. Oh, it's, well, it should look okay now. Oh. I blinked at the wrong moment. What? It was the whole thing. Well, don't, don't blink. That's foolish. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, don't ever blink. I'm going to bring cat cam never, in. Just never, so never, never see, blink. look, chat. She's, there's no cat here. Yeah. The raft of feline. Um, oh, no. I was going to say something much worse, but yeah. That. <laughs> Sad, what? and then and then you can eventually get to to my camera and see that the cat prefers me. Well, I mean, prefers is very strong. <laughs> Disappointment camera like that. Your your door was open. I think that's about as. Maybe that's it. It's mm. because my door is never open. She's like, ah, oh, the forbidden the area. Forbidden land. Uh, <laughs> have you got chat open, by the way, Millie? My chat, obviously. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I was, was going to say, the guitar bard has been quoting your narrator outtakes. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. What's I my favorite? Like I, my favorite one is just send Victorian text. <laughs> I don't know why I like it, but I do. Yeah. 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 Mm. Um. Do you do you need help joining the video? Because it's oh well, I don't know. Are you Why reading the Discord? At all? I said you a step by step with with a picture That's and really everything. That's really nice. Yeah, thanks for that. Does it? Does it? Do it? I mean, I could. Okay. Just... I've clicked the thing. Oh. I've clicked the thing. Hang on. Okay, I'm excited. Okay, notify my followers. Fuck it. Why not? Oh god. <laughs> They're gonna love this. Oh god. Hey, guys, room for a treat. Or not. Okay, do it. Oh, I can see uh, you backstage. It says you're getting ready. Uh, mm, Millie's getting sure ready. I, like I, I do. I feel like I'm being spied on. Okay, Twitch TV wants to use your camera. Allow. Good. 
weird way of phrasing that, but fine. <laughs> like, is it just going to pop in? Uh, it's a Sennheiser 416. Like, well, You're got, worth the same as this one. I'm doing the thing with Jay at the moment. No, we need it. We need your camera. On Windows and can't select your webcam. I didn't try. Yeah. Jeez. It may be active in another program like your streaming software or maybe OBS. <laughs> Just, I mean, I can take the long walk to the other end of the house if you need help. I mean, it might be faster, but this might be funnier. Well, I'm always in, in the... What are you using? OBS virtual camera, like, last yeah. time? Yeah, okay. You should just be able to... Uh, it's probably just off. Twitch moaning Same at you. Now. Fuck off. Stop telling me what to do with my camera. Yeah. No camera detected. That's great. Okay, but fantastic. that's... But that's fine. Then, like, do you have a little circle at the bottom where you can change what camera it's trying to use? No, there's nothing. Well, goddamn! I'm not gonna walk down there. I just, I refuse. I think you might have to actually. Wait, hang on. You could, you could share your screen in Discord, and then I can just see what's going no. on. No, don't know how to do that either. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, um, chat. I'm I don't gonna... know how to turn off the microphone either. This is going so fucking well. I'm gonna walk about. How far do you reckon? Ten meters? Yeah. No. That how that? It's I don't know. That. I'm going to go that way to the other end of the house. So it's, I'll be at least 20 to 30 seconds and then I'll be back. And you'll hear me on the other side of the house in the different microphone in a minute. All right, two seconds. Welcome to my show where I sing. Like All right, just cat. take this opportunity to say whatever you want in there. Didn't this like just happen or something? <laughs> Hi. Ow. Hi. Uh. I was prohibited by a rabbit. <laughs> oh, shut hey. up, Lola. Ooh. See? Interesting. See? Uh. Oh. Oh. Why is it doing that again? I we don't just have to know. close the whole thing. There we go. Okay. That, that didn't look great. Welcome it wasn't to the best, show, I'll be honest. I, like I look so tanned in your camera. I did go to the beach. <laughs> yes. I did. I got sun on me. Continue without camera. Fuck it, we'll do that. Go backstage. There That's we go. so weird. Ta-da! Why right. have you flipped? Because that's what Twitch likes to do. Uh. uh Alright, once you're in the call, you should be able to hit that to... Just mute it. Oh, there we go. All right, I'll see you. Oh, I've done like years now. Yeah. All right. I've changed my mind. I don't think I want to do this. Welcome no, I'm, I'm to the show <laughs> where I sing like a cat. Stop being a pussy. Oh, wait. Welcome on the adventure. All right, I'm back now. That's right. The most important person is has returned. <laughs> Oh, oh that, was, uh, that was such a. Uh, oh, shall I let you? In? Oh, oh no, Millie! What? Oh, this is a, this is the wait. By the way, chat, we're using Twitch's guest star function, right, to bring Millie into chat. Oh, let me come what? here. No, I'm just gonna read to you how it refers to me bringing you in. Are you ready? Uh, do mm -hmm. I? It says I have the option to slot guest. Oh. What? Millie, That's against terms of service. Millie, would you like me to slot you? Yeah, please, if you would. Properly Sen this time? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> we have one or the other. All right. I'm going to send you to guest slot one. Send me. Oh. Guest slot one sounds oh. awful. Oh, this is All exciting. Right, guest slot two. Okay, hang on. I'm going to bring up... I'm going to click, oh. gonna click oh. this. I've now pushed you to my stream. Nice. Technology! Uh -huh. Yay! Look at that, chat! Look at that! Okay. You're the right way around on my stream, though. Yes. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Wait, why have I got hyped? What have you lot been up to while I've been <laughs> underneath <laughs> Millie's desk? Ooh. I haven't really. Um, Millie, should we get something awkward out of the way before we continue the stream? Wow, this is just like being in bed. Yeah, go for it. No, uh, well, that's what I was going to explain because because 
this is your first time being like on stream after Baldur's Gate 3 has released. Oh, um, yeah. And I thought like there'll be a lot of new people here and we're going to say dreadful things to each other over the course of this evening. That's so I, true. I thought I would just get the obvious out, so, semi obvious out the way. Semi obvious. Semi obvious. For those, right, if it gets confusing in chat, for example, <laughs> the fact that I could just walk to the other end of the house, I am Millie's partner. So there you go. That's it. So when we give each other shit, I'm not just a terrible host being mean to... Mm. All right, a little bit. It's question. Is mm. my camera all right? Because on my screen, it's doing all sorts of weird shit. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, good. Yeah. Not just a terrible host, a terrible partner too. That is me. Yeah. <laughs> that is yeah. me. Yeah. Look, we all got sad and lonely in 2020 and we made some choices. Some of yeah. them were haircuts and some of them were relationships. We don't judge. I feel like you've called me out on both of those statements. <laughs> Actually, that can't be true. I haven't changed my haircut since I was about 16. No. No. I'm the one who stupidly dyed the white streak out of her hair and has spent the entire time since trying to get it back. You shouldn't have done it. No, I shouldn't have done it. There, there were a lot of things I shouldn't have done in 2020, but Hi. I did. Hi! <laughs> hey, it me. Hey, it me. <laughs> Millie's greatest mistake. Da -da -da. <laughs> um, but welcome in, everybody new. Uh, yes, we are playing Baldur's Gate 3 today. I am joined by uh, the wonderful... Uh. Uh, all right, the fucking dreadful subpar uh, epitome of uh, the person that. Uh, no, I was going to say something really mean, and I didn't. Look at that! I'm I'm growing and maturing. Aww. I know. Are you proud of me? No, never. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Um, I have a feeling this is going to happen in the game a lot. What? Are you being awful to me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just, are you all right there? Sorry, I'm having a cat issue. Are you okay, Lola? At least one of us is. Wow. Well. Yeah. Millie, can I read you a and d related pun, please? Please. Okay. Why did nobody trust the low dexterity wizard? I don't know. Why did nobody trust the low dexterity wizard? Because he can trip at any moment. <laughs> Just... That's what's known as a fun performance role. A what? You, you'll figure it out. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Psychic damage. Look, <laughs> it wasn't my joke, okay? It was Chad's joke. So, Millie. Mm. Uh, let's, I suppose people are interested in you, I guess. Uh, uh, why? Yeah. Uh, good. I mean, I asked the same question, so hopefully chat can illuminate, <laughs> you know. Uh, so, how are you? What How's the last like... week's been? Um, I am clinging on by my fingernails uh, in good ways and bad ways. Uh, and the last couple of weeks has been fucking weird. I think sums it up. Amazing and confusing and stressful. And I was not anticipating the reaction. I don't know what I was anticipating, to be mm -hmm. honest, when this game came out. I did. I was going to ask, like, we we continually over the last however many years it's been, I've I've been going. It's, it'll be big when it comes out. By the way, man, and you're like, oh, I don't, I don't know, and <laughs> no one will really care about you know about the narrator and blah blah. blah. No, no, Millie, it's gonna be, it's gonna be huge. <laughs> it's gonna be large, Millie. Things are gonna happen, and yet you were still you shocked. And... <laughs> Sorry, the jokes are getting too obvious now. <laughs> but it's genuinely been a surprise to you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I didn't think anybody would give a, a damn about me. I thought it would all just... I mean, it has been very, like, Astarian, please bite me. Oh, uh. Shadow Heart, show me a box. But I, I wasn't anticipating people caring about me, and I certainly wasn't pe anticipating people getting my sense of humour via the medium of outtakes. So... But they're very good. I like them, I mean, but I, 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 I've always had that sense of humor, so... Ugh. Why are you not scaling properly, OBS? I don't know. There you go, I'll make you tiny. Confusing. There you go. <laughs> I was going to make you bigger, but no, I can't you be bothered. You have to be the same size as me, that's how this goes. No, I was just going to make you huge. Because you're the ugh. star, yeah. 
I don't, I don't want to be huge. Oh, okay. I want to be regular size. Regular. We all, we but both do. It's been a rough it's few years. 2023. I'm big enough right now. Okay. Okay. Like, and cheese has been eaten. Regrets have been had. Oh, I want cheese. I don't need ciders. I don't need, don't go saying things like that. We've we already had a conversation yesterday about a charcuterie board that nearly made me cry. So. Oh, that's true. Yes. Yeah. We we know a man. Just the the smallest context here. We know a man. We know a man who has no opinion on cheese, and. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that was possible. I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do about that. I have an opinion on cheese. That's just weird. I don't know. I don't know. It makes me very, very uncomfortable. He's not to be trusted. <laughs> I know, right? Um, although, as chat is saying, his name is Food Crimes Tom. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know why we're surprised. What were we expecting? Yeah. Um, when he's christened that, what was he going to grow up to be? That's true. That's just child abuse. Food criminal. Yeah. Um, Right, Millie. Important questions. Come on. This is uh, okay. this is not a usual stream because you're a, you're an internet celebrity now, so I have to ask I have to ask questions that people are actually interested in. Uh -huh. Like Go on. like how long were you recording for Baldur's Gate three? Three and a half years on and off. Three and a half years. Is that yeah. the longest? Not like one long session. <laughs> Just get permanently in the yeah. booth for three and a half years. Yeah. And, so, and some of the bits uh, that we recorded at the very, very beginning, we ended up re-recording because uh, it went to early access and we got uh, kind of honed in on what we were going to do with the narration and kind of altered it slightly. So we ended up rather than one narration style for all the way through the game to give it some light and shade and um, different styles of narration for different characters, we ended up with 16, 16 unique uh narration styles depending on who you're playing and um what choices you make let's say so is that 16 for the whole game start to finish or yes i, I mean it wasn't like the whole game is read in 16 different styles it's like different lines we'd go oh okay so this is if you're playing as dark urge or this is if you're playing as a starian but then it would um change depending on like if you had if you had a patron yeah and it was like a fey patron it would be different to if you had like an abyssal patron and stuff so then it's uh the different read styles vary uh -huh. we say. and did you find like what was that process like for finding it in the booth like the like the first time dark urge comes up for example which is the one of the only ones main ones i know about <laughs> that one is, What's what's the process for finding what narrator voice is going to work with that? That one was the easiest to find, actually, because it's just I'm hungry and I want to kill everything. And it wasn't in the same way as um, like for Astarian's one, his his is quite kind of playful and it's got a little bit of a bounce because he's he's a hunter, but he's also flirting with you like Dark Edge is not flirty. There's no kind of rise and fall. It's almost like you're holding back the snarl all the way through each line. Like you enjoy it, but it's not playful. Yeah. It's, it's... just like, I am dreaming of bad things right now. And is Dark Herd your favorite? <laughs> I can't pick a favorite. Oh, come on. No, somebody, somebody's asked me that about <laughs> characters, and I really genuinely can't pick. Uh huh. Dark Urge was the most fun to record because okay. it's like right down the end of the scale. Like you can really gnaw on the scenery as far as like I just, I'm just imagining the dreadfulness of this. But they were all fun in different ways. It was a really fun acting workout um, because I wasn't relying on accent work. I wasn't relying on um, changing pace too much because we couldn't if you play too much with the pace it gets too slow it was already mm -hmm. pretty slow narration style so we didn't want to go too far with that um so it was all my voice just with different attitudes 16 times <laughs> so i think like because we we talk about this often where uh again chat for those who don't know uh, i'm also a voice actor games animation blah 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 so one of the things we often talk about is our differing skill sets like I'm chameleon man in terms of if I'm, you know, if I was doing 16 different characters, my toolkit is, okay, different accents or aging the character up or down or, you know, all that kind of stuff. So 
how did you find trying to make 16 but all in your natural voice because i like that, to me that's phenomenal like it's easy to go oh you scooter brown okay he's he's a he's a redneck and older that's see like that's easy to my brain but i can't wrap my head around getting 16 different reads with the same voice do you have a how do you do that how do you get into 16 different headspaces that's it that's exactly it i get into 16 different headspaces i don't know in, in, in non-answer to your question, I guess, I I don't know how I do what I do. Uh, everything is psychology with me because that's my background. I, um, for those of you who don't know, I've got a BSc in experimental psychology. So all my acting work tends to come from that base. If I can understand how a character thinks, uh, I do what they would do automatically for the most part. So it's kind of like driving a car in auto rather than manual. Mm -hmm. um, so as long as I can get into the headspace of, okay, this is what, because you, you imagine like if you're voicing for a Faye patron, like Faye, it's a light, um, a playful, little bit mischievous. And once you start thinking along those lines like okay so the uh, mortal rules don't apply to me and i find it really fun and i like causing mischief and i like chaos and you're just kind of very playfully beautifully fucking with people once you're in that <laughs> headspace the lines like the read style happens naturally mm -hmm. so was there a a read style or a narrator style that you found really difficult to reach because you know <laughs> Again, if I'm doing voices using physicality, that's one thing. But is there uh -huh. a psychology that you were like, because I know you, Dark Urge was probably not much of a stretch, let's be honest. Hey. Um, <laughs> but was I there one? Like that in real life, so <laughs> I just want to murder people. I mean, you... I, I, get into, I get into that headspace quite easily. You I did. I will just point out to chat that you did say to me, yeah, you need to do Dark Urge. You're like that meme. You are with the stick and me going, go on, dude, go on, do it. Go on, do Dark Urge. Go on. I've been gently bullying pretty much everybody I know into doing that because I want to see how they react. It's kind of like showing somebody part of your diary. <laughs> just being like okay you're close to me now you get to see like meet this side of me that nobody gets to see mm -hmm. let's just see if you can handle it yeah um because that's that's not like a part of me but it's it's a style that exists in my head and sort of being able to show that and let that out like it's a really good way of not doing it in real life yeah well like uh i go has kind of summed it up to, to my mind quite well, which is like, it's letting the intrusive thoughts win. Like, we all have thoughts yeah. like, oh, I, yeah, yeah. I want to throw my boss off the top of a skyscraper. But it's about uh, indulging in those thoughts, I guess, yeah. and feeling the yeah. comfort it, in them. It's not just that. It's, it's very powerful. You feel very powerful voicing like that because you're a predator. It's fully predatory. Mm-hmm. And so, especially over the last couple of years, you know, I've been going through some pretty dark shit that I've had to deal with uh, in real life and getting to go into the booth and be something that has the eyes right on the front, if that makes sense. Like, mm -hmm. there is no sense of any prey mentality in this character whatsoever that just, like, boom, yeah. I'm going to fucking kill you. It was really good, um, really good therapy, actually. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like um, a powerful animalistic primal scream therapy. Yeah. And were there times <laughs> where you would come out of the booth after? Because I think, because I've never done like straight up narrator like that, where it where it's you're not a character within the world, you're a mm -hmm. character commenting on the world. And I know obviously that you've done uh, in previous roles, really intense character based, you know, emotional scenes and, and trauma mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. Did you find there was a difference coming out of the the booth having done a difficult narrator session versus coming out of the booth mm. having done an intensely difficult character session it it varies uh when we did the recording for early access i found that difficult because i wasn't allowed to emote so the, mm. the brief we had for that was was very much like you are sitting back watching the player you're not experiencing what they're experiencing. You're watching them with that kind of DM smirk, you know? Mm -hmm. 
like, uh-huh, okay, let's see which dumb choice you're going to make now. Um, and it was it was a really cool, interesting style, but I think it would have got exhausting over yeah. the course of the game this long, and you wouldn't have felt as invested in what was being described. Um, so we kept that style for one of the, the characters, so that what we did for Early Access, I guess was closest to what we ended up with for the tadpole moments when mm -hmm. you're kind of sensing things or linking with somebody else's mind. Um, but I found it very hard to disconnect emotionally from that and yeah. be a, an outsider. So, so it kind of uh, was a struggle initially to just be emotionally blank or to have a, an opinion opposite to what i was describing if mm -hmm. that makes sense yeah that observer um, role yeah yeah whereas once we went okay that's changed and unless you're doing tadpole -y stuff that's not what you're thinking you get to experience this with them you're not feeling it but you're kind of empathizing with what they're experiencing you're trying to describe a feeling mm -hmm. yeah um so yeah, that was much easier. Yeah. The second I was allowed, <laughs> the second I was allowed to <laughs> act, uh -huh. if, if that makes sense, yeah. uh, it all kind of clicked yeah. for me. Um, and I could have done it the other way, and we did for for some lines. But I find it much more juicy to get in and start playing around with the feelings behind things. Yeah. Or, um, and there are some times when I'm. You, you'll find it eventually in the game, like moments where I'm describing manipulation that's going on. Um, you know, usually in in D and D and in any kind of tabletop, like it's it's a bit of a faux pas to tell somebody how they're feeling or mm -hmm. what they're thinking. Um, for the most <clears throat> part, we kept it very like uh, we talked about how it was almost like I'm behind the player's head with my like my chin on their shoulder, just tilting their head and going, "Look at that." Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. you can see that over there. But just occasionally you're manipulated in this game, and that was really fun to play with. Like, um, giving voice to the player's own confusion uh -huh. and um, unease. Yeah. Uh, having a feeling that they didn't consent to. Mm -hmm. am, I gonna, um, that was really cool. am I gonna feel very uncomfortable playing this? It's going to be one or two ways. You're either going to feel very uncomfortable or too comfortable. Mm. <laughs> Dark urge it is. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to ask you an awkward question now. Um, okay. Because ever, I don't know a single actor in the world, uh, myself included, who has ever done a role and come out of it. I think occasionally it's happened. Maybe, I, I think I have vague memories of somebody like Jack Nicholson or Gary Oldman saying it happened to them once. But where you've come out of something, you're like, yeah, I'm 100% happy with that. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't go back and I would not change a thing about that performance. I, I'm not annoyed at how I did any of those lines, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, what's shit about it? What would you go and change if you were like, I, I don't like that. I want to want to redo that. And why would you want to redo it? Honestly, for the first time in my life, um, I think this game comes as close as I can mentally be to being something I'm proud of having done. Um, wow. Usually I'm my own worst critic and I can't even listen to myself really. Um, it usually takes like 10 or 20 playthroughs for me mm -hmm. to even be able to stand listening to something that I've done. Um, and I will criticize it every second of it. Um, this is the first time that I've heard things on stream and just been like, yep, love it. I, I really like that. I heard one thing today um, <gasps> that I was just like, I can tell I was ill that day. Uh huh. Yeah. Because it strayed from growly to a little bit too much vocal fry. And I was like, oh, I wish I could have redone those lines. Yeah. Um, but it was, o it was only very subtle. I mean, <clears throat> the other question, obviously, is why was the decision not taken to have Crimpit narrate this? I don't know. That would have been really good. Because, like, Crimpit telling me to stab somebody. Oh, no, actually, that would just be normal, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fine. I'm just saying. I'm just saying it would have been an interesting 
uh, no. direction. What? Day. What? So. What? You know how we were like, oh, we could actually play this together. That could be fun. Hmm. Are we doing a crimpit? And... Crimpit? Could I make crimpit as a tiefling? Only if I can make heath. Tiefling. <gasps> Should we do crimpit and heath D and D? All right. What would heath be though? A barbarian, maybe? No. A bar. Fighter. Fighter. No. <laughs> what? Bar. I just fuck I can off. fuck my way through anything. <laughs> <laughs> a barbarian. Yeah, we could do a crimpit and heath um, Baldur's Gate playthrough. Oh my god, this is going to be totally fun. Let's kill them all. No, I'm not doing it. I'll take it back. Uh, There's people in chat now who are just like, who the fuck is no crimpit and heath? Why is, why is this even a thing? It doesn't um, even matter, really, does it? I wish I had crimp the, the jelly bean clip to hand to explain <laughs> crimpit and heath. I probably have got it somewhere. Um, essentially... Heath was a character that Jay played in a tabletop show, and Crimpit was a character that I accidentally made up because of a cake. Um, and together, despite coming from very different worlds, and um, they should never have been together, but you put them together and somehow it works. Because tell us, tell us about Heath. I don't want to tell you about Heath. Heath? I don't... The trouble is, I don't know where Heath came from. Because I've never actually spoken about this at all, but Heath, the Heath that we ended up with was was miles away from the Heath he was supposed to be and how I'd originally created him. Heath was originally supposed to be uh, a South African Murdoch from the 80s, huh? just kind of a little bit, uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit crazy. Um, but like, yeah. So for those who don't know, Heath uh, turned up at a tabletop show. He was he's just he's just a grumpy old. Merc, who used to work, used to live in South Africa, he was in the army, he became a Merc, and he just fucking hates pretty much everybody, unless you get under his skin, and then actually he's quite lovable and nice. But he's, he's, what is he, he's just blunt as a brick, isn't he? Which I think yeah. is, but Crimpit is like so saccharinely sweet that she it's overcomes toxic positivity. Toxic positivity, yeah, and he he's just like begrudging positivity. So they kind of, they kind of work together. Do yeah. you have the picture? Somebody did some art of them, and oh, it was amazing. I might do. Hang on. Uh, if you can Discord it to me quick, if you we'll Ooh. do a race as to who can find it the fastest. Okay. Um, hang on. Eh. It's the image you eh. use for the cards, right? Oh, yeah, so I should have it in my uh, stream loots images. Uh, but I'll take this opportunity while we're, while, we're, ah. while we're looking uh, for a picture. Just to say, welcome in, everybody new. Uh, obviously, a bunch of new people here tonight. Uh, we're Jay and Millie. Is that... No, I can't. It's reversed, obviously, over there. We're going to be starting BG3. It's For those who have asked, been asking, it is my completely first BG3 stream. I have not done so much as i've loaded the game to check the menu works and that's it so this is a completely fresh playthrough uh joined by amelia tyler over there hello oh see now that i do that voice and i'm immediately just like i miss lucius and violet oh i miss them too that would be a, oh my god that would be another fun bg3 ah, i win you win wait you discord to me yeah i'm just it's uploading them it's oh, uploading. Sad, sad oh my god, how big is this file you're sending me? <laughs> 3.5 meg. Oh, is that it? Okay. Oh, there it is. All right. Uh, let me just save this. Da, 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 da. We, could, we could do a four-person uh, party where it's mm. Heath, Primpit, Violet, and Lucius all in one D&D &D group. Oh, oh, somebody would die. I'll be honest. Somebody would die. Uh, right, I mean, just... both of us would die from having to flip back and forth so often. Yeah, but you see, Crimpit hurts you, but none, neither Heath nor Lucius hurts me, so I think I'll be all right. That's what uh, I reckon. Both of mine would be super high in my range. Like, remember <laughs> what Vivian was invented? It was because I hurt my voice. Where? What was the... I, I forget where Crimpit originally turned up. Um, it was your channel anniversary <gasps> yes, stream. Yes, that's sent it. sent you crimpet cakes. And I picked it up and said, delicious butterscotch crimpets. That's and the one. And she existed. And now she's there. There you go. That's that's crimpet. And uh, let me just send to this. There you go. So he he looks quite young in that picture, actually. But that's yeah, he he, does. He's supposed to be in his early 40s. But look how cute and cuddly we look. <laughs> 
See, that's such a great piece of art because you can just tell he's going, get off me. Like, <laughs> stop touching me. Yeah. That's, that's what they are. So that's, that's who Crimper and Heath are, uh, in case you wondered. Ooh. Millie. I can make her, I reckon. I mean, she wouldn't be a fawn, but... Well, that's true. I'm, I'm going blank. into this relatively blind as to into like what I can create right now when we go into the creator. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm kind of excited. But before we go into it, all right, I want to um, uh, do what I always do on this channel when I have a special guest, uh, by which I mean I've never done, which is some quick fire questions uh -oh. to get to learn oh, uh, Amelia who, who Amelia Tyler is. Heavily. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, are you are you ready for some quick fire questions? Not even slightly, but okay, let's do it. I've got them written down here. Okay, I'm gonna lower this uh, music down. Hang on, Hang on. <laughs> this is very important. Come on, chow chow. This is serious, serious stuff. Okay, uh, I don't think Millie's gonna be able to hear this, but you all will. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Are you, <laughs> Millie, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay. Uh, okay, it's gonna come out of there. All right, let's go. All right, question one. Blue or green? Mm. Blue. Okay, good. Grand Canyon or a helicopter? Weird question. Mariana Trench. Too big or just right? Yes. Correct answer. Five points. Bonus round. Mm -hmm. Custard pudding. Yellow or beaver? Quick. Beaver. Okay, last question. Vowels, yes or no? No. Oh good that was good work that was good work i did have one bonus question for you uh -huh. uh, and that's the letter y egotistical or rightly placed depends if it's a weekend or not uh, i'm afraid the answer we were looking for was black sabbath ah fuck you did well though you did well nice. that's number wang yeah <laughs> uh my enduring respect uh. it's not worth much I'll be no, honest, I yeah. was going to say, can I just have a gift voucher or something? Gift voucher? <laughs> do you think this is? What do you think yeah, this is? is? All right. Do gift vouchers still exist? I don't know, actually. Do they? <laughs> do they? Am I ripping off Stephen Colbert? No, because I literally came up with the idea of asking pointless fucking questions on the drive home last night. Yeah, that's how exciting my life is. <laughs> yeah. All right, I've hit play. I'm going to bring the game up in just a second. By now? No, I want to start play that button. I did listen to the, what you call it, the menu music. Ah! And it's so good. It's so good. Yeah. Can we just sit and listen to the menu music for a while? Yes, yes, we can. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so welcome in uh, everybody new. This is a fresh playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, with me, Jay, hello, and more importantly, over there, the, the narrator. Just the one. The narrator, Amelia Tyler. You may know her from the TikToks. The TikToks? Well, from How the TikToks. Old How old am I? You oh. may know her from fucking up repeatedly on TikTok. I know. It's ridiculous, chat. That's how I'm going to introduce myself. Oh, yeah, and I do some voicing sometimes. Yeah, yeah. If you think it's funny, try listening to it 763 times. I reckon I could recite them all by heart now. <laughs> Send Victorian text. I was saying to chat at the beginning, I'm just sat there waiting for you to hit a million views on the TikTok because I know you're just not going to be able to compute that that many people have watched I, it. I already can't compute anything that is going on in my life. That, yeah. um, London Comic Con thing happened and they were like right so you're going to be there whole weekend we've got panels two days running blah 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 you're going to be <laughs> the, the, the fucking critical role crew and I'm like oh okay yeah, yeah this this sounds like my like, sorry yeah. I just need to keep pinching myself it's fine it's fine yeah. carry on just remember me like Lube four Chris. weeks ago we were just sat on the sofa watching Gordon Ramsay that's, <laughs> that's what you gotta remember about when your life just seems crazy just, just remember yeah. hey, hey big boy Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> life can change very quickly, Millie, all right? It's yeah, fine. Yeah, if ever I, I go, oh, I should really, I should really, like, do something rather than just lying here on the sofa. No, just lie on the sofa. Shit's going to get weird. Yeah. Just, just, just right. amass your energy. <sighs> Am I doing it? Am I clicking the thing? Do it. Click the thing. Uh, all right. I pressed the any key. 
<laughs> Go, we're going underground. <gasps> oh! It's terrifying. Okay, what do I click now? <laughs> Can I click new game? Do it. Ha! Huh! Okay, I'm guessing we want to go balanced, right? Uh, chat, by the way, the extension is on. The Baldur's Gate extension is on, so chat will be able to, you know, fuck everything up. Oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> yeah. Not multiplayer. Not not fun. This is going to be my solo run, but uh, I'm sure Millie won't mind. We've been discussing the idea of doing a playthrough together. Um, Maybe not. That will have to be date night, though, because otherwise I'm not sure I can make that work in my diary. Okay. Oh, Millie can join the solo run? No, I think we want to fuck up the world together, don't we? Yeah. Grimbaden Heath, destroy Hi. everything. Let's go. All right. Speed run world annihilation. Uh, kill everybody. Kill everybody. Oh, now you're Yay. on my speaking more wavelength. All right. I'm clicking the button. <laughs> I'm very excited. I love that Grimpa is this oh, toxic positivity, but she's fallen in love with this this grumpy merc. Wait, and she's in love what? with me? No, you know what I mean. <gasps> like, she's, she's kind of teamed up with him and they're, they're like family now. She loves him to bits. And he's just like, hey, do you want to see how to use this uh, <laughs> this massive gun? Rocket yes, launching, yeah? yeah? Birthday. All right, I'm gonna... So now she's got the toxic positive energy. I'm going to uh, take us both off, off cam. Because mm -hmm. it's the starting cinematic. I'm very excited. It's so pretty. <laughs> I kind of glad that I I have seen almost none of this game like on purpose. Uh huh. It's a well sexy tadpole, Millie. Sexy tadpole. I'm now, I just realized, quoting uh, outtakes that haven't been released yet. That's good. Are you sure? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. No, thank you. <clears throat> that was hot. I'm just saying. So, yes, I'm getting any of the audio from the game, and I'm just trying to figure out why. Because uh, I'm not sending it to you, but I can. Oh, that yeah, that would be great, because yep. otherwise I'm going to miss out on a crucial part of this game, which is the audio. Uh, <laughs> God, a voice actor's right, chat? Yes. You know what I mean? So, so uh, it's me, darling. It should work. So chat oh, my... Oh, Jay, can you uh, join me if uh, if we see Hot Flakes around at any point? Can what? you join me in bullying him and peer pressuring him into um, bringing Pendragon back? Because we came yes. up with the idea yesterday and I really want that to happen. Thank you. Thank yes, you. I can. Uh, are you getting... You should be getting game audio now? Yes, I can hear it now. Okay, cool. All right, do, we, do I want tutorials? I'm playing with the narrator. She knows everything. That's right, right? No? That's not how this works. Oh, okay. All right, we'll leave pop-ups on for tutorial. I mean, technically I know everything, but in, an, <gasps> in not in the way of an all-knowing tome, more in a, like, one of those people who's <gasps> psychic and can hear everybody's thoughts and everything's overwhelming. <laughs> you know, many things. I'm so excited. Uh. Uh, okay. Oh, where do I start? Okay, Origin. Yes, I want to play. Oh, do I start with the Dark Urge? Chat, if I'm playing Dark Urge Origin, I guess I have to, right? Or I can do mm -hmm. custom. You can change the appearance if you want to. Yeah. See, chat are all telling me not to do a Dark Urge, but the, when the narrator of the game tells you to do a Dark Urge playthrough, chat, you do a Dark Urge playthrough. All right? I mean, come on. I mean, you don't have to. You can do one later if you want. I mean, I really want, I really want to explain to chat why you said <laughs> the exact phrase you used when you told me to do Dark Edge. I can't remember what I said now. 
I mean, it's not that revealing. Um, about which one of us? Oh, about me. <laughs> oh, it's only revealing about me. Oh, it's oh, fine then. I don't care. Oh, Minnie said, yeah. oh, you should do a Dark Urge playthrough uh, when you play. And I was like, why? And Minnie said, because you're a sick puppy. <laughs> I was like, okay, fine. Um... Okay, the Dark Urge, you remember... Hang on, I'm just going to put my camera down in the bottom for now. You remember nothing but a path paved with blood. Unimaginable cruelty whispers to you from within. Can you escape it? Would you even want to? Your appearance and class can be fully customized. Okay, so I can leave it Dark Urge there and then come and change all of this. Okay. Now, the, I had, like, uh, Dark Urge Wizard is what I want to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, play the intro? Okay, hang on then. Let's play the- listen to this character's story. My rancid blood whispers to me. Kill, kill, and kill again. My ruined body yearns to reap death in this world. And when this foul urge calls, it possesses my whole being. Injured beyond repair. I know nothing besides this. I must resist the dark urge, lest it consume my mind. I must discover who I was and what happened to me before my twitching knife hand writes a tragedy in blood. Okay, but I can choose, like, not to resist at all, right? And oh, just... yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. That's what we're going with. Okay. Okay, murder everything. Okay. Now, I had, like... Um... I wanted to be, like, a Hella kind of character, right? Just, like, a Dark Urge wizard elf <laughs> thing. <laughs> I don't know! Dark Urge Wizard Elf thing. Yeah, yeah that's one of the classic D and D classes. Exactly. Okay, so if we go with Elf, Elf, we get nine meters per turn. Proficiency with longsword, short sword, short bow, and longbow. Dark vision always handy. You get advantage on saving throws against being charmed. And magic can't put you to sleep. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good, Millie. Oh. Dark Elf. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? Uh, okay, move. Proficiency, rapier, short sword, hand crossbow. Okay, better dark vision. Saving throws against being charmed. Okay, we're just sitting in this now forever. Okay, maybe just so you know. Okay. Cantrips, bone this chill. Is was, this is what I was saying in an interview recently. I think people are going to find it so much easier to roll up a D&D character using this. Oh, for it's sure, just, yeah. Uh, just having it visual like this really helps me. Thunder damage, force damage. Okay. But then I guess it's going to get different when we go to our class down here. Okay. I'm going to go... I'm going to take a narrative position, Millie. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what's... What is my character? Would they be a drow? You know, driven to the underdog, most drow have adopted a ruthless pragmatism. Okay. That's... That's one in that tick box. Uh, but why, if you're trying to resist the urge, I guess? Oh, I'm not at all. You're not? Oh, no. okay, then it makes complete sense. No, this is going to be a murder, death, kill. Murder boy. Murder, death, kill playthrough. Uh, okay, while well, the Loth sworn delight in the goddess's evil tenets, the Seldarine reject her attempt to overthrow. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of liking Drow. I might leave it on, but then I did quite like the elf. I mean, check out the ears, Minnie. I can't see them yet. Sexy head. Oh, there we go. My sexy head. I can't see your sexy head. Those are very pointy ears. They are very pointy, but then the drow. What's what's the ear situation with the drow? Okay, equally pointy. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's a dark elf. Oh, that is, that is hot, though. Okay, drow. Okay. What do we got? Body type one, two. Yeah, there we go. Three. Oh, he's hench. Look at that. I want. I want a Jesus tall. Christ. No, I don't want that though. Bench, though, Jay. 
Does it, did you just say bench? Yeah. <laughs> My character shall do no benching. <laughs> unless it's using magic. Okay. I kind of like the idea of just being... Uh, oh, what's the word? In Not inconspicuous, but like... Ah, oh, pat her on the head and then she turns you inside out. Uh-huh. Sounds In good. Unassuming. All right. Yeah. Sub race. Okay. Uh, raised by Lothskull in the city of Menzo. Lily, you're the narrator. Say. Read it. Come on. I literally can't read the text there. Uh, is it's it too, uh, too clear enough. Too but it's pronounced Wolf. Lolf. Oh, yes. Yeah. Lolf. I believe that is Menzo Baranzen. Uh, I'll tell you what, I might share my screen with you through Discord instead of the Twitch chat, and it might be a bit better. That might be good. Let's find out. Let me try. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't forget to also share the sound. Stop sharing that. Uh, well, you should still have the sound. I do still have the okay, sound. Okay, good. Do, 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 do. Share my screen. Alders Gate. <laughs> Smoother video. All right. <laughs> See how that works. Oh, that might kill my bit right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's not do that. Yeah. Okay. Let's not do that. Sorry, chat. It was a nice try, but no cookie. It was a good idea. Window. Oh, now I need to find it again. Where the hell is it gone? There you are. I've just, added, I've just streamed it back again. <clears throat> okay. Aha. Raised by law, these drow embody the virtues of their corrupt and mur- Yeah, okay, so we're going Lolf, Lolf Sworn. When, when did Kethrick Thorn come in? That's what I want to know. Later. That's <laughs> not for a bit. Uh, okay, so we're going- just wait. There are some names in outtakes that people are unprepared for, but I'm kind of trying to wait because some of them are tiny spoilers, and I don't like putting your spoilers in the, mm -hmm. the outtakes too much, but yeah. just- of them are just it's too good it's i'm too looking good. forward to your next one i'll be honest a lot of them um, are related to how i pronounce things so i'll say how do we say this word and josh or kirsty or whoever was directing me would go it's like this and i'll go oh so it rhymes with this and then that's what we call them for the rest of the sessions oh dear god yeah okay i want to know what I, now I'm just more interested to know what the rhyming names were than the actual names. That's all I'm interested in. Well, let's in. just say um, <laughs> one of the characters' surnames for the entirety of my recording sessions was Armchair. Armchair? Armchair. Uh, armchair. You won't guess it, but anybody who's played the game to a decent amount through will know who I'm talking about. Armchair. F Clamblair. No. Nope. Mr. Armchair. Mr. Oh. Armchair. Sir Armchair was my father. I'm Sofa Jr. <laughs> okay. 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 So we're going to get Firebolt, Mage Hand, Ray of Frost. Yeah. Oh, I could set them on fire and then cool them down. And then set them on fire <laughs> again and then cool them down. Recently. Yeah. Just keep them alive, you know, just on the edge of death until they are at the point wow. where they've given up all hope and they turn to me and they beg for me to end it. And then I'll say no. I have chat why I told Jay that he would enjoy playing Dark Urge. When, the, 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 when, when I was asking chat uh, what class I should play, I said, for example, what kind of class would allow me to lift a body up suspended in the air and slowly pull each limb off independently? <laughs> just as an example of a possible thing I might want to do. Well, just as a thought. You know, just, just, I haven't, you know, I've imagined this over and over. Just, you know. Lola's getting involved now. Sorry. Cat. <laughs> Majama, yes. Fog Cloud, Grease. Oh, actually, okay, we got the Grease. Hey. Thunder Wave, hey. Sleep, Magic. Oh, we've got to have Magic Missile. Okay, fine. Okay, actions, arcane recovery. Okay, and I can't change any of this, right? We're just selecting wizard, and that's the base stuff that you get, right? I guess we go into cantrips and we can... Okay, so cantrips we can tweak a little bit. <clears throat> what are you doing and why? What, so... Why? 
Could you control your pussy, Millie? No. <laughs> Not even slightly. <laughs> uh, many have tried. All have failed. <laughs> um, when you said in one of your outtakes, uh, you rolled poorly. I was just <laughs> like, you just strike me as... Um, God, Indiana Jones. Yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's what I was referencing. Yeah. Well I got. I just did that reference. No. Okay, acid splash. <laughs> I would like to splash ash. Ash. Oh, yeah, yeah this is Lola. Sorry, I, I forget that people yeah. might not know. Lola oh, is queen. This is, this is Lola. Lola is an idiot. She is. <clears> um, <throat> people think she's a cat, but she's actually a panda. We realize. You know those. Oh uh, God, we did. Yeah, yeah. There's videos where you see uh, keepers trying desperately to just clean out panda enclosures and all the baby pandas are just climbing all over them and making their lives a misery. And that's what this is. If you don't give her attention, she takes it. She <laughs> she is insufferable is what the word is. It's adorable, mm. but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, advantage on charisma checks okay. against a non-hostile... No. Oh, oh no, am I going to be the worst kind where rather than doing the damage myself, I just convince them to do it? Yeah, probably. You should jump off the cliff. Save me the effort of pushing you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, illumination. Yeah, Lola is a void. She's a total void. I'm a, I'm a nudger. Mage <laughs> hands. Any suggestions, chat? By the way, if you if you like, you know, yeah, these. Bear in mind, I want to play a messed up, dark elf, awful person. Uh, true strike, gain advantage on your next fire thingy. Then I was tempted by who doesn't love slinging a fireball? And these are only like your basic cantrips, mage hand. That was my other temptation. I might take the minor illusion. True strike is ass. <laughs> we have so many D D nerds by the way in chat um but that's before everyone that has come to see millie is here as well um like we're all D D nerds here millie and i play uh i'm really enjoying our saturday night D D session yeah um oh, so much fun because millie and i have been yeah. the same in that we've we've all played correct me if i'm wrong Millie, but we've all played a bunch of tabletop games but i know i at least until our saturday group had not played D&D 5e, you know, the original D&D, mm. as uh, it were. I had played one D&D &D game before that. Um, last year, I think it was, when I mm -hmm. played the, the little red tiefling. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, on the yeah. Previous channel. Um, but other than that, I haven't really played. I played, um, like, years and years back, we played one, one day of um, Lamentations of the Flame Princess campaign which is kind mm -hmm. of same fate. Um, and it was a TPK within a single night. Um, Yay. Yeah, that's it. And now I'm playing in two <laughs> offline campaigns, so the Saturday one and then one with Frost on Sundays. Mm -hmm. um, but that's it. My experience with it is relatively minimal at the moment. I've played a lot of different campaigns in different systems. Yeah. Um, but... D and D wise, I'm still finding my feet, and I'm kind of excited to see what playing this opens up for me. Because mm -hmm. for me, character creation is terrifying. It really overwhelms my ADHD. Um, yeah. There are too many options and too much research to do, and I worry that I'll, I'll create a character and later find out that there's something about it that would just um, uh, make it overwhelming to play or difficult to play, or I just won't fit in with the group. And, um, having a visual really helps me and having the ability in this game, like you can respec after a while. Mm -hmm. I love that because it means that I can play around with it in this form and see what I like for a pen and paper campaign. That's awesome to me. It just makes I am that, listening, that, honestly. Um, that learning curve a bit less steep, you know? Like, hey. I think I'm, I'm the same in one respect in that characters I'm fine with, but like trying to understand how all this stuff works that I'm looking at mm -hmm. now, like this is such a great yeah, way yeah, of yeah. being able to kind of see it really obviously in front of you. Chromatic orb, yeah, let's go with that. 
Uh, when should I do the appearance chat? Is it best to do that now before I go too much further forward? <clears throat> Decker, um, yeah, I have had a few really great DMs um, who've helped me a lot with the character creation side of things. So, like, um, Hot Flakes, Tom, and um, Charlie, um, Frost from Fire, used to absolutely love doing this to me in our Call of Cthulhu games because occasionally we'd just play a one shot. Uh, in the same world, but with different characters, and I was just like, I'm t I, 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 I can't, I, like, they can hear, they know me so well, they can hear that panic starting up, and Tom's just like, look, just come into a call, and I'll help you write the character, or in a couple of cases, I was like, I haven't got, I haven't got time for this, but I do really want to play, and him and Charlie just wrote a character for me, and I got to go, okay, that's who that is, cool, and come in and just play it, like yeah. I was having a, a voice character um that was really good fun i like that and they they wrote me some fucking great characters in a one shot of calling the cthulhu i played a character called Liv glum who was the most terminally boring character like zero charisma pretty much just so dull but her dullness made her the ultimate assassin because nobody ever noticed that she was there <laughs> So I just sort of made her like this. Oh no. And she just thought nothing. Just nothing. Oh. Danny. Just. Oh. oh. Yeah, oh. she was great fun. I, oh, I really, really hope we get the um, Pendragon campaign going mm -hmm. again. Yeah. Oh. I just want more Lady Alice. She was for, amazing. For those who, who are unaware, um, I used to play in a Call of Cthulhu Dark Ages campaign with a, a bunch of very cool people some of whom are here at the moment i think and um uh i played a character called lady alice what you need to know call of cthulhu usually is uh, quite dark sometimes doesn't tend towards the comedic but a hot flakes tom um decided to cast the cast he did and we all just collectively lost our shit for two seasons and I played a woman called Lady Alice, who was just astronomically attractive, just like fuck me up attractive, and was dumb as a bag of rocks. Um, she so I made her like like a sort of um, post head trauma Joanna Lumley. So she was just sort of, she was just sort of like this. At one point, somebody said, um, "God, what?" Did what was it? Uh, what brings you here? And she was like, oh, it was a horse. It's so good. That is the best line you have literally it's, ever said in anything I've ever like, heard you do, by the way. Incredibly literal. And I loved playing her. She was just dense as fuck. She was so attractive that all her former suitors um, had died um, while waiting to marry her just because they were thinking about her or were distracted looking at her and got like run over by a horse or collapsed with a heart attack or something so her parents thought she was cursed and had given her to a nunnery she'd misunderstood completely and thought she was marrying god so she kept doing these prayers that had just like got more and more like a bitchy text to to your boyfriend just like dear darling um, one of the guards earlier said something mean to me and told me no, so could you smite him, please? Um, anyway, got to go. I hope you're all right. Do you want anything from the shops while I'm there? Um, lots of love, Alice. Smite him! Oh, Smote! Love Psalms. <laughs> she was one of the best characters you've ever made, I have oh, to admit. She was great fun. She was very, yeah, very good. So so yesterday when we were playing Phasmophobia, we were trying to bully Hot Flakes Tom into doing another season of that because the group for that was just fucking phenomenal. Oh god. I want to get that group, but I want to get you and uh, Doc mm -hmm. in on that group. I think you two would fit in really well. Yeah, I just want to play somebody who does this me lot. I want to play Kenneth. Fuck, that's... Oh no, I've got full meme. I've gone full circle. <laughs> yes. Play my own intern. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, that would be amazing. God, we're going to be here oh, for so long. I've only just noticed. Who is this edgy bitch you've created? I love it. She's going to be the goddess of death. 
I bet she calls herself that as well. Yeah. Oh, sorry, chat. I got to, I had OBS I mean, muted because there've been so many, uh, so many alerts. <laughs> uh, also, I'm just gonna have to pause Millie for just a, a second, <laughs> just to say. Hi everybody new, thank you so much for all the uh, gifted subs, bits, follows, etc. Uh, I would normally be much more responsive to you all, but you know, Millie's here and I figure you'll want to hear her talk instead of me saying thank you. Um, but it is very much appreciated. Thank you. Welcome on the uh, fantastic got a girl adventure through Twitch. All right, and now back to <laughs> Millie, what you was I all did. here for. Sorry, I'm distracted because somebody's mentioned Talos and Jaffe in chat and I'm going to just have to take a minute because just because you can't do that on no stream reason. milling all right that's i have to no that's i think it's a good idea for both of us he's phenomenal i just i adore that man well what i know of that man anyway um and i very much enjoyed molly that's all i will say oh, that's my graying intensity imagine if you could just do this in real life my graying intensity is oh. <laughs> I Hang am on. reaching peak graying intensity but only at the front i can't fucking wait to go gray. Okay, so that's how much the highlight is. Okay, so I think my base color's got to be absolutely Kessie. Don't make it rain. Oh, is that Kessie? Kessie. Hi, Kessie. It's Kessie. Oh, it's, uh, wait, not Kessie. <laughs> yeah, Kessie. Oh, you it's know. Kessie. Hi, Kessie. You mean you say? <laughs> fuck sake, Millie. If you just said it was Kessie, then fuck's sake. I mean, the name says that. That's true. Um, why am I creating such an all over bit? my face? I'm sorry if I'm like scratching myself for the rest of tonight. And reduce. Okay, so it's full highlight on top. Okay. We're going to be here for so long, by the way, chat. Like, this is it now. This is our life. <laughs> Lola is uh, currently lying in the cat bed, and I am loath to disturb her, or she'll get needy again. She'll be back. So I'm going to leave the hair there for now. Okay. Nice. General. General Grievous. Are we going to give her a scar? Oh, yeah. Scar feels a little too much on the nose. Do you know what I mean? I'm the bad guy. And you can tell what you're doing. Yeah. Because I've got a scar, but I, I know how to fight. So I don't have any scars, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm the fucking goddess of death. All right. I don't have scars. Okay. Hello, mm. it's me, the goddess of death. Hello there. I'm imagining oh, it though, like cool. those two teenagers who did that YouTube video where it's like, and I'm the acid bath princess of whatever it was. <laughs> oh, so just amazing. Oh my god. I'm gonna be in here for so long, Millie. <laughs> I was like, I'm a goddess of death, but I take care of my skin when I go out in the sun, so yeah. my, my freckles are low. <laughs> Actually, I'm quite freckly, so I'm going to leave those there. Oh, yes, we get to decide what Volvo we're going to have. Welcome don't we? to my show. Oh, be careful with that I one. Sing oh. like a cat. You could put. You could put your camera over the downstairs bits and my camera over the upstairs bits. I mean, I can, and then you'll probably be okay. I've just got a button that, that hides the game, but I can still see it. I think it's funny the other way. But it is. For it. No, 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 no. We're gonna do it now. Uh, <laughs> so I'll go. I'll go there. Okay. Tits, you can be you downstairs can be, area. You can be on the tits. Okay. <laughs> Like that. Oh, it's our first threesome. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to hide the clothes. Oh, oh, that's very graphic. No way. Yeah. Is it? It's not between. Yeah. The... For, for a second, I thought the Volvo was smack bang between our camera frames. <laughs> it's close, though. It's really fucking close. Oh. So okay. you're not covering anything. You're just covering her knees. Yeah, but oh yeah, you, you've got lucky, both. I right? was extremely lucky. I've got both. What can I say? Oh, I, uh, I, I cover both areas. There you go. Look, I'll do that. There you go. I think that works. <laughs> okay, hang on. But I need to zoom you in. Just take your vulva. Hang on. What happens if I Jesus zoom in? Oh, boobs. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> 
<laughs> you okay? No, I've got to pick a Volva. All right, hang on. Okay, Volva B, Volva C, Penis, oh. Penis B. Anything takes you? You lot can't see this, right? Anything that takes you fancy, Millie? Uh, penis oh, yeah. B, Penis A. Which ones? I, I always like Volva A just because it sounds like the beginning of shouting Volva. Volva. Uh, <laughs> all right. Which ones? Which ones? Me, Millie. You don't have to. You don't have to answer. Oh! 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 There's so many more penises. Okay. It's fine, <laughs> chat. Okay. I mean, I mean, there's nothing wrong with default. Is there? Do you know what I mean? Default's fine. You don't want people to be like, oh, she, you know her, like, lovely girl, but default vulva. Oh, that's true. I don't want to be known as default vulva. <laughs> I am Hella, goddess of death, default vulva. Yeah. I've put the clothes back on now, chat. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. All right, have you picked your bits? I've picked my bits. <laughs> All right. Well, ah! All right. Where did we get to? Oh, hey. Welcome on the adventure. Okay. Oh, yeah. We have, oh, 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 still. We haven't even got to name yet. Okay. <laughs> we haven't. So far, I've basically picked my haircut. That's where we're at. Okay. Tom um, is rice cake and Jay is default vulva. I think that's the meanest thing I've ever said about Tom, <laughs> is what I said last night. You're basically just a rice cake. You can't call somebody a rice cake. It's just such a cutting thing. Oh my god, Millie. Really. So I don't know what he was expecting, honestly. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Ooh, tats. Okay. We've done... No, we just saw her tats. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Alright, hang on. I've got to pick a voice. This, it's opened. I wonder what's back there. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Where to next? Four so far. Hmm. What was that? Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells, something just woke up down here. Be wary. This place is trapped. It's opened. The four. Where to next? I'm going with four. I'm basically making Millie if if you were a drow elf. <clears throat> That's all I want. Oh my god, is this your dolly dress up? Yeah. All right. Yeah. How do I make you look like Batman? <gasps> Batman. I'm Mrs. Batman. Batman. Regina Batman. Regina Batman. <laughs> Regina Batman. <laughs> Default uh, Volva Batman. <laughs> Default Volva Batman. Yeah, skip ads for for now. Uh, mods as much as we can. Uh, if you if you're subbed to chat, there won't be any uh, ads. Uh, I can skip them as often as we can, but uh, we'll try and keep it going as much as we can without ads. Mm. Default. That's a bit much. What bat flaps? Oh, you, what you mean the look? <laughs> bat <flaps>. Sorry. <laughs> bat flaps. But look, I'm kind of down for like a subtle, not subtle, Ooh, but yeah. something on the neck rather than face. Yeah, that's cool. Oh. Here's the thing. Oh. So there has been talk potentially about some of the cast members getting tattoos mm -hmm. um, of the Boulders logo. And I'm genuinely considering getting the three, not the full logo, but just the three slashes right on the back of my neck. Mm -hmm. I Do can't it. decide. Do it. I think I might. Do it, you coward. That doesn't work. You're an adult. Do it if you want to make an informed choice. Yeah. Well, it's, it's weird because that's where it feels like it would work for me. Um, uh -huh. but equally, I will never see it and I almost always wear my hair down. So I don't know. Yeah, but you'll know it's there. Yeah, that's true. I just kind of like the idea of something to mark this experience because it has been like this huge transformative phase of my life. I mean... Let's be honest, like, th this is something of a crucible for you that, mm -hmm. you're, that you're going through right now, and I think marking that in some way is a good idea. Well, I was going to go to that guy in uh, in Canada and get the... I've got, I've got plans, guys. I'm going to get, full, like, arm tattoos. 
Um, but that does mean a bit of a trip. Because there is one person in the world whose work I, my brain has gone, that's the only one you like. Because I am a picky bitch. You are a picky um, bitch. Which says, like, uh, how do I compliment you? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> how do I compliment you? I've never Try done it. it before. Like, like, you know, again, for those who, who have joined since the beginning to give you context i'm millie's irl partner <laughs> so you know i've known you well, for a while or a t-shirt or something yeah well i'm well known actually my most famous for being amelia tyler's boyfriend um is that you know you, you, like, i know what your tastes are like i don't know how how strict you are like you're like you know tattoos my tastes change so regularly i think it speaks yeah. volumes to it's easy, I think, for people to go, oh, you know, you just went and did Baldur's Gate and it was a job for you and now great and you go off and do Comic-Cons and stuff. But I think for you to be like, I would permanently get a tattoo, even though my tastes change throughout my life, is a good example to anybody about what this project means to you as a person yeah. rather than just, oh, this is just another, you know, it's a cool gig, but it's just a gig. Um, yeah. You know, it speaks volume, volumes to, well, it means I mean, something to you. It's been a crazy few years for everybody, right? Because we started recording this in 2020, literally God. a couple of months into lockdown. So it's seen me through all that. It's seen me through cancer scares and dad getting ill and nursing him and him dying and a lot of changes, a lot of really, really super big changes and, and me having a bad time mentally and fighting through that and coming out the other side now. Um, and I think that's worth marking. I agree. I that's worth celebrating mm. in a physical way on my skin. Oh, Just generally. Oh, no. Okay? What? Oh, no, Millie. What is there's, wrong? There's so many options. <laughs> oh no! Okay. <laughs> oh, that's kind of hot. Oh, that's hot. Ooh, yeah, I love it. Now I just look like Terminator. Yeah. No, it was it was better before. It was subtle. What if? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Katava. No, give me your keys, your boots. And your plus four advantage. <laughs> oh, uh, apparently, we're uh, we're looking at some ads soon. Boo! Four minutes, which means you've got four minutes to subscribe, everybody. Um, wow! What streamer? I'm, I'm gonna have yeah. to start charging you. Do it. Do it. <laughs> An appearance fee. Uh, all right, makeup. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god, Millie! There's so much. Um, mm -hmm. But yes, no, in, in all seriousness, uh, four minutes till ads. We've run out of uh, Twitch's ability to let us skip ads. But we'll probably still be here on the other side of the ads, picking my, make, <laughs> picking my makeup. Um, um, Lily, help. How do I do? How do I what? do? How do I do makeup? I don't fucking know. I do the same thing every day. <laughs> oh, hold on. I, I continually <laughs> buy eyeshadow because I feel guilty about doing the same thing every day. Then I do nothing with it. And it just sits there. But I forget, of course, I am a professional makeup artist, as we know yes. from that stream I did to you many years back. Oh, you should play that again. Maybe I'll play it when I need a need a pee. That's a really <laughs> good idea, actually. I don't know if I don't think I have the video like natively. Oh wait, no, hang on, we're on lips now. That was the wrong thing. Oh, okay, makeup color. Okay, okay. Millie, what what goes what would be a good color? Not blue. That's too that's too Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Frank, thank you very much for those gifted subs. Thank you, oh, gang. Wow. Um, I kind of like the black, but is that a bit too on the nose? I mean, who cares, really? What if we... Oh, now I just look like I've dunked my eyes in an oil slick. That is very intense black. It's because you've got the intensity up really, really high. Yeah. Pull that down so it's got more of a feathered edge to it. A what? <laughs> you heard me. What was that? Glossy tint. Oh, glossy tint won't have been doing you any favors. Oh yeah, look at that. How do I how do I get the you know like the walk of shame look? I'm gonna look like I went out to the club, I made bad choices. <laughs> <laughs> um, then you're gonna need 
something like that, but then there needs to be a streaky thing. There must be an option for that. How do I smear my makeup? Yeah, there, there we go. Um, so one line up from what you were on at the moment and three in. That one? That? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's, it's still a bit subtle, though. Yeah. Yeah. I, what I need is to be able to... I want to layer two makeups on top of each other, really. You must be able to. I like that, though, with a little bit of tint. A little bit of tint? Little, just a little bit of tint. Let's see what we got. Like, we got a lot of other options, though. Let's have our lip tint. Oh, God. Okay, did we go... That's a little bit too much now, though, isn't it? Like, I want to I wanna look like I am darkness as mm -hmm. opposed to I've put makeup on, if that makes sense. You were doing a traditional J job on the subtlety then. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! I did not need to be accurately called out. All right? <laughs> Look, if anybody in here has seen Jay's makeup stream, you will understand. Look, my makeup stream was mm. sublime, mm. okay? And I won't have anything said against it. It was. It was. <laughs> it was. It was the thing that I experienced, and it made me drink heavily. During. Yeah. Yeah, during. Yeah. Oh, God, I was, wasn't I? I was <laughs> drinking wine during to numb the pain. <sighs> Am I happy with that? You looked alarming. I like her. Yeah. But I don't have to play her. I think I'm okay with it. Yeah? I think. That, feels, that feels too quick. Quick, rather. What's her SoundCloud link? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's you have to see great. this face in every cutscene. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Wait, Crimpit is an actual oh, character, yeah. not Krimpit's, just a voice. Crimpit's a character. She's got fan art and stuff. Yeah. And she will be in this game soon. We're gonna we're gonna play a little bit together. I'm really excited to see Tiefling Crimpit. That's a good shout. That's a good shout, Deck. What was that? Just, I've just reduced the intensity of the eyes a little bit. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you mean I'm not done yet, Bob? <laughs> There's not more to do, surely. Okay. No, Crimpy is born. Uh, Crimpy is a form and she gets things tangled on her, on her horns. Oh, yeah. Um, so I just hit proceed now, right, chat? Is there a way to get out of customized appearance? I guess it's proceed or edit character. Proceed! Proceed onward in a Baldur's Gate direction. Mm. Edit again. Okay. Okay, cool. There we go. We're ready to fuck shit up, chat. That's what we're yeah, ready to do. Yeah, we're piercings. Oh, I've got piercings. Hang on. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Ah, I think she looked like she, you know, fuck things up. Yeah, yeah. Especially Be careful, we... you don't want to get those rings caught on anything. No, that's, that's true. That's true. Right, I, I kind of want to get in I and start playing. Pain. I know that pain far too well. I want to do it. I want to do it. Uh, do I pee before we get <laughs> any further in, or do I just fucking hold it? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, don't hold your pee. That's a really bad idea. Okay, shall I shall I let you entertain chat while I go pee? No, okay. no, absolutely not. I well, think you should put the makeup stream. I don't have the makeup stream to hand. Oh, I don't no. think. I don't think. Hang on. I might do, but I don't think I, I do. You just made your camera vanish while you go and look for it, like you've gone down the well, stairs. Or I was something. gonna go and pee, and then and then you were. <laughs> That's the time to Amazing. run some ads. Like, oh, I could, yeah, I could run some I'm ads not. actually, so that uh, we get a bit of ad free viewing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run, run ads. All right, I will run. Uh, I will run a one minute ad in that case, and then hopefully that will. Uh, oh, gives me time to pee. Oh, there's an ad in progress. Okay. <laughs> Just left us with Amelia. Are we safe here? I'm still here. One minute isn't enough time to wash your hands. Yeah. 
Right, I am, gonna, I am going to go pee, yeah. and there's adverts I, running. I can't make my camera go away. No, you can't. I can. Why, do you want to pee as well? Well, I mean... It, maybe. You, it's I probably mean, be a good idea. I could take both we cams can. off. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Look. Whoosh, look at that. We need a Lola cam. I mean, I've got one, but the fucking cat isn't in it. Look. Uh, Hello. Meow. Meow. Oh, you're so gonna... Very well. You see? It's nothing. It's nothing. All right, Millie. Uh, I'm going to mute you and me, and we'll be right back. Oh, what? Oh, hello! It's me, I'm back. Hi, Jack. Uh, we'll just wait for Millie to get back. Uh, so I'll take five seconds to say hello, everybody. Uh, how you all doing? Thank you for joining me today as we uh, embark upon... Uh, uh, what game are we playing? Oh, Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, if you're new here, uh, feel free to come and join the Discord. It's right there. Uh, then there's the Twatter. It's right there. And also a new tube where you can catch all the VODs. And whatever. Did you wash your hands? Don't be gross. Wash your hands. Hello. Oh my god, it's back. I'm back. Hello. Hi. Are you ready to play a game? I'm ready to play. No twatter, only X. That's true. Isn't it, Millie? No, it's not. And Is I refuse. 
It will always be Twitter. That's it. Yep. Yep. That's it. We're not going to talk about it anymore. Yep. Nope. Nope. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you for the follows, everybody. Welcome in. Everybody new, by the way. There's uh, a lot going on today, which is a little uh, overwhelming. But thank you for the gift subs, biddies. Uh, follows. I feel uh, sorry that you've ended up here. It's all Millie's <laughs> fault. Yep. Right, Sorry, I'll put my you camera there for now. My dreadful life choices. It's true. We all suffer for your dreadful life choices. Uh, right. You ready? Oh, I've been turned into an orange. There you go. That's much better. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, now, we're doing name, right? Now, <laughs> now, the meme on this channel is that everybody gets called Kenneth. But. <laughs> I don't feel like this character could be called Miriam. Miriam? Oh, fuck yes. The other meme. Thank you, spun spungizzles. Spungizzies? Spungizzles. Spungizzles. Come on, you're a voice actor. For fuck's sake. Look, don't embarrass yourself. I don't have the director giving me a reading of how to pronounce things. Uh, okay. Millie, sorry, Millie. We're just checking. I've uh, just got the oh, writer Connie. on. Connie. Connie. Connie Lingus. Yes. We've got... um. Connie. Connie Linguess. <laughs> sure, why not? Connie Linguess. Holy shit, Joker! Thank you ever so much for 20 subs! Hello. I'm going to go and hide Hi. now. Thank you ever so much, Joker. Oh, ah, Millie, things are happening. I'm not Thanks, used to this, Joker. by the way. So you, welcome to how weird my life is. I don't right like now. you, Millie. <laughs> you go and stream, so I don't have to deal with this. Apparently, I live in monochrome land now. Yeah, what's happened? Um, Lola's decided to lick her ass in front of the light. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah, she sat directly <laughs> in front of the light. <laughs> well done, Lola. Lola. I did, Come here. I did think that's weird. Yeah. 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 Suddenly, yeah. the world is monochrome because Lola's decided to lick her anus. Jesus Christ. Lola's a cat, by the way. For yeah. anybody who wasn't aware, it's not just somebody licking their butt. It's in not the just our roommate room. or whatever. Yeah. It's just, yeah. <laughs> just Lola's doing that thing again. Yeah. No, she doesn't even pay rent. She moved now? No. And she shits in the hallway, which is weird. Oh, there's another one. All the cats are coming here oh, now. Oh, because they've not been fed. Oh, wait, uh... It's because we haven't done dinner. Hi. That's why. Mm -hmm. They want food. You can't have food right now. No, we're, we're busy. busy. We're tell, tell them we've got to save the world, Millie. We have to save the world, Dax. Yeah, pay attention. Okay. Yeah. You can see the shadow of her head licking. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, is, that Mil is that Millie or Lola? Yeah. Uh, just having a lick. <sighs> right. Are we ready, Millie? I'm ready. We're we never going to be ready. I'm ready all day. Okay. You were, were you born ready? Is that what you're going to say? No. No. Fair enough. Nobody's born ready. You don't spring out like, ha! Oh, that's what that is. Sorry, I had a weird thing and I wasn't sure what it was. Lola. Come on. Oh, okay, Lola, ready? don't you ignore me. I'm just going to ignore Millie and I'm going to click proceed. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Have we got to do another person? <laughs> yeah. We need a guard. Wait, what? Character creation two. <laughs> is this, is this like somebody else in our party or just a rando? It's a guardian. Guardian. A gardener. A gardener. Apparently. All right. Can I, um, can I be a human barbarian? Can I make Duroc? I'm going to make Duroc. So Duroc, for those who don't know, is my D&D uh, &D character from Saturday Night. Who is uh who is a six foot eleven, three hundred pound barbarian, and somebody gave him a potion. I can't remember what it was called, like potion of growth or something, that made him four times the size when he was currently in an eight foot um high windmill. So that was fun. Kenneth but gnome. Oh, that's quite tempting. Come on, Millie, have an opinion. Yeah, I go Kenneth. All right, so... Okay, so yeah, gnome. Okay. Okay, yeah, sub race. Oh, what, what, what kind of... Would it be a deep gnome? 
<laughs> forest. No, he's going to be a forest gnome. I kind of want Kenneth to look like that. Look how fucking handsome he is. This is the only reality in which Kenneth is hot. Hey. Hey. What? It's, it's fair. That's <laughs> fair. Uh, let's see what the voices sound like. Truly. Good luck. No. Follow your instincts. Remarkable. Truly. Okay. Uh, Kenneth has got to be pale. He doesn't. He doesn't get. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay. So you don't let the interns out in the sunshine. No, the interns do you? don't get to get. They need some scars from where I've beaten him. He needs to be a bard. Yeah, but it's funnier if he's just a little gnome that we can just kick across somewhere when we get angry, like we will at our interns. Okay, lots of freckles, lots of freckle intensity. Did you just make Adam Driver? I think we might have done. Bye, Sparrows. I think we might. Okay. Uh, body art. Oh, no, it's hair. And then facial hair. Has he got just a really unkempt beard? <gasps> Glorious mutton chops. Oh, those are good. And then what about for regular hair? No. <laughs> this, that does look kind of Kennedy. It does look kind of Kennedy. Yeah. Hello, my lord. It's him. Hello. Hello, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to change it from there. Uh, body art. I'm not sure I'd allow Kenneth to adorn himself <laughs> with any body art whatsoever. That means I, he's got too much money free. I don't know, that does kind of make it like Macho Libra. Nah. Is that one called Fungal Cloud? Holy shit, it is. All right. Now, my interns live a simple life. Do they have, <laughs> do they have piercings? No, they don't have money for piercings. <laughs> uh. Okay, eyes. I think oh, he can have hazelnut eyes. That's he can fine. Have some eyes. He can have, yeah, he's allowed he's eyes. Kind of you. Yeah. Uh, won't have any makeup on. I think that's him. I think that's Kenneth. Just done. Yeah. He's really cute. He's quite cute, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, look <laughs> at him. I love him. <laughs> Aww. All right, let's go. Oh, cutscene. <gasps> dum dum dum. I'm scared. I've just had an accident. This whole cinematic just rocks my world. They did such an amazing job on this. As a Wilhelm scream in the first 30 seconds, I'm sold. Oh my God. So Baldur's Gate 3 film when?
Oh. Chat, I'm having feelings. Oh, 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 I just got so full good, body. Right? I just got full body goosebumps. Those dragons are amazing. <laughs> I just, I, I grew up on books like the Pern series, and mm -hmm. seeing something like that come to life always just makes me think. <laughs> I got the wibblies. <laughs> Oh shit, Carlo, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs, buddy. I'm way behind. I'm trying to catch up. But thank you everyone for all the gifted subs and everything tonight. Crazy people. Oh my god, Millie, things things just happened in my trouser area. Things and stuff. Things and stuff. Oh well done. Uh, that was very confusing for that to happen for the first time, but don't worry, it's completely natural. Okay, thank you. There's another cat sitting in front of the light now. It's a different one. Brilliant. It was only 10, so, uh, so 10 more people could see Millie without ads. And that's fair. The blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull, besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Welcome on the adventure. Okay. Uh, you have nothing in your skull besides your name and a headache, but you are in danger. Curse whoever did this to you. Say your name aloud. You have a part of yourself. Take a deep breath. Shake your head and start anew. Any opinions, Millie? It was a very good read, I, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you, don't, you don't get to have any of this dialogue unless you play a star code. I mean... Um, I can't make a choice for you, I'm afraid. This is all you. I, I want to play full, just absolute mega death kill, bitch. Like, destroy the world. The torturer behind this cruel prank will meet your malice when you get out of here. Killing. Now that sounds like your first good idea. Ha, oh, Millie, you're doing things to me! <laughs> My head... You're doing things to me, Millie. Two lines in. Might yes. still be stuck inside if we haven't been attacked. Okay, now I gotta learn the controls. Okay. Best be on my way. You best. This uh. is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Uh. Oh, oh, I kind of want to do investigation because it's uh, the first roll. Do it. <clears throat> investigate. What would I do? See, I'm immediately like, what would my character do? Uh, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do a roll straight away. Okay. Skill checks. Some dialogue options require a skill check, a dice roll that must succeed, exceed, uh, meet or exceed the target. Your character skill adds a bonus to this roll. Okay. Okay. So we do have a plus three. Because we have intelligence. DC 10. Uh, I'm so excited about GMing my first D&D. But learning all this stuff is a fucking nightmare. Okay. Ah! 
What do we think? Are we gonna do it? I don't want to do it. We've only got a seven. Oh! Nice. I'll take that. 30, 20. And a non-natural 20, but I'll take it. An unnatural, okay, so an unnatural 20, yeah. Slightest touch oh, could thanks, cause Dick. it to crumble. Touch it. <laughs> yeah, touch it. Destroy it. A dirty 20. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I am chaos. I did it, Millie. I've already crushed the... How's your health? My health? Uh-huh. Uh, it depends. Where's my health shown? Where is my health shown? Home, center the camera. Double click portrait to center. I took no damage. Oh, okay. Linguist. Linguist. He's called the linguist. Uh, how do I rotate the camera? Q and E. There we go. I have seen somebody flat out die in that in the early access. I don't think I've taken any damage by the looks of things. Well, that's because you're a badass. I thought so. You know what I mean? My face is on top of it. No, everything's down the bottom. This is going to take. This is going to be such a mindfuck to play because I know you can literally write and investigate everything right and like interact with mm -hmm. everything and try everything on everything yeah. jay you want a useful ui hotkey always baron also how do i save scum <laughs> i'm taking <laughs> tips from co-carnage oh yeah that's right yeah we can both call but you oh, out Co. So because i rip the piss out of him you feel like you can yeah absolutely it's fair yeah it's fair hold alt it will highlight items oh okay I yeah actually that's fully support save scumming I'll Me be too. honest, I, like... I have no problem with that. Play the game however the fuck you want. Yep. We don't do gatekeeping here. Dead. Nope, nope. Good. F5 <laughs> and F8. A two key save scum? Outrageous. <laughs> How do I create a Ooh. macro? Let's see. Someone else got out. <gasps> Is it Kenneth? Oh. Oh, the camera rotation is going to take a little bit of getting used to. What's this? Restoration. Okay. Oh, F5 is save. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Odd. I feel better. So beautiful. I've just thought of something. I'm not going to be able to play this until we get my PC fixed. Nope. Cool. I'm sorry. That should be quick. Quinn, sorry. Hopefully. Uh, oh, I did wonder if it was controller compatible, uh, Idris. I was tempted. Oh, wait. I just follow it? <gasps> okay, that's hot. I don't know why, but in my brain, I want to right click. I want to hold right click and rotate with the mouse. Is that an option for that? What do we need for my PC? We need the graphics card to stop shitting the bed. The graphics card decided it didn't want to be a graphics card anymore the other day. And oh, hilariously, awesome. it was directly after Jay had gone, now Millie, this is a brand new PC. You spent a lot of money on it. You should turn your PC off at night like a, a sane human. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna I'm gonna be responsible and do that. And I turned it off, and it just never turned back on again. Yep. I had just left for four days away, and Millie called, and I was like, "Okay, mm, interesting." It won't even it won't even post deck. <clears throat> it's um. He ended up talking me through while driving on the motorway talking me through how to remove the graphics card and check that and how to remove the RAM and check that but it was on the phone as if he was teaching me how to defuse a bomb because I am such a technophobe I hate it it's like brain surgery to me I think well, we did all right we did very well yeah but also Idris that's the funny thing it's a 4090 which is why I'm not surprised that it did a did a wibble Um, but you can see on the motherboard, the VGA light lights up. And I want to talk to the weird thing. Help us. <laughs> oh, 
Hey, welcome on the adventure. Oh, I accidentally muted my mic to you somehow, Millie. Uh, I didn't say anything quite important. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. Ah! From this place, you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Succeeded with a perception Please. check. Before they return. They return. Time to diagnose which bit is fucked. No, it's time to send it back to the place that built it and go fucking fix this. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> okay, who am I talking to? A man or a brain? Oh. Oh, that's tempting. Mm. Mm. I would be curious first. talking to an intellect devourer a minion of the mind flayers who abducted you oh this is such a good game i'm in love already and we're only like five minutes in hmm the enemy so many enemies hey detox Howdy, dogs. I'm sorry, I'm a shit friend. Uh, sorry, right. don't feel bad, Millie. You're a shit partner too. Yay! <laughs> Remove us from this body, from this case. Free us, please. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm so happy. This is just like D and D, but on my screen. I'm so happy right now, chat. Okay. Uh, there's no point going strength because we're not. That's not our power. Let's let's inspect the exposed brain. You be nice to Millie. She is great. Provide me some evidence, deck. An evidence-based human. I've been really nice to Millie tonight. Shut up. Uh, okay. So when did chat get involved? By the way, on this um, extension. I don't know. Like, can't you be doing stuff already? I have no idea. All right, let's go. I am going to seduce everything in sight. Puppy mode. That's... Yeah. Oh, no! Uh-oh. First failure. Oh. Ow. Oh. Boo. I love that it says it in big capital letters yeah. as well. In red. Failure. failure. Yeah. Um, I was going to say something then. Uh, d -d 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 puppy mode. Something yeah, that's... That's what I am. Uh, in fact, I didn't realize this until Millie said it, to be honest. That I am hot, d d dark. I mean, as I'm, you're about to find out in the next 100 hours of Dark Urge playthrough. But the second I see a dog, I turn into a golden retriever and I am just the cutest. Just oh, oh, oh. <laughs> But, you know, humanity, stick it on a spike. All right, let's go. Apart from this strange context, you notice nothing unusual about the brain. Shh. Tell me, Millie. Oh, no. I can see it here. Okay. I'm going to ask chat. There you go. Thank you for pointing that out, Paul Star. I would have not known otherwise. <clears throat> so can you see that, Millie? Like, chat get to vote now mm -hmm. on, on what we go with. All right. So we're leaning towards uh, Dex quite heavily. All right. Let's go with Dex. I'm not sure if my Dex, to be honest... Or strength is better. I think my strength is the worst. Uh, we get a plus one from dex and a minus one from strength. Yeah, so dex are okay. All right, let's go. We get a plus one DC of 10. Fuck! We're useless! Oh, Connie. <laughs> Connie! Oh, Connie. I will say, chat, I have turned off karmic dice. So there is that as well. I saw a TikTok all about karmic dice, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to turn that off. How do we fail this? Does it just fall on the floor? Just sadly tugging at it. <laughs> yeah. The brain won't budge. Well, strength it is then. Fuck it. I'm angry I can't get this brain to come out now. 
let's see what chat are going to pick, oh as if we need to know. <laughs> so yeah, if you don't know chat, Karmic Dice, basically, if you continually have poor rolls, the game tweaks the odds in your favor so that it's not just constantly <laughs> uh, shit rolls. However, that does apply to the enemies as well. So I'm just leaving it as uh, non-Karmic Dice, which means the rolls will be whatever the rolls are. It will never get tweaked in my favor. <clears throat> All right, then, chat. How am I going to do it? I have never seen this option before. Can I? How do I? It kills my puppy. Oh, I can't set him on fire. That's the issue with this. Yes. That's your issue with what's going on right now. I can't be leaving corpses everywhere, Millie. People will ask questions. <laughs> Jeez. My chosen partner, ladies and gents. Hi, Come everyone. On. Millie lets me touch her. Just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if you respected Millie before, you may want to rethink that. All right. It's fair. It's fair. Let's go. I am in love with this already, chat. Uh, I was talking to somebody earlier, and basically from September the 6th, my channel is just going to be BG3 and Starfield for the next year. Like, that's about Yay. it. Yay! Yeah. I really want to play this with you, though, Millie. Yes. We will, we will do it. What is that one? But it might have to be date night. Oh, that's fine. I will date night with you. Jay, seduce the brain. I can't. It's already dead. <laughs> wow, that's a mood. I mean, I could still try. But my luck isn't very <laughs> good. the least <laughs> sexy dinner you've ever taken anyone out. Okay? Yeah. Like, so, what do you do for fun? And the brain's just... <laughs> just bits of it drop off. Yeah. Res it and seduce it. How do I res it? Jay, seduce Millie. Look, I did that once and I rolled a nat one, but the pandemic happened, so I got a plus 20. So it was great. <laughs> oh shit, we're flying? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy about this. Hey, Safi. Hello, Safi. Can we have the shout out to Safi, please? Nothing saves a nat one. So trust me, pandemic did, Fuller. <gasps> this is is this Lizel? Lizel. that's it. Bring it, Lizel. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. Does that mean they're joining the party? Alright, let's... I'll ask chat. Cause, mainly because I like your psychology. Yeah. Yeah. How much do you like saying throbs? Yeah, Millie. Give us a, a rating. I did enjoy that word. All the descriptive words were fun to say. Hmm. Well, we've come out of early access recording where I wasn't allowed to put too much onto those words. And now I could make them mean things. It was Throb. lovely. Throbs. There are some mm. excellent words. I, for the, for the first time ever, I'm going to agree with chat. Just general oh. inquisitiveness, yeah. We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, <clears> we will <throat> be gay. Mind flayers. I'm already a little bit gay. I'm just saying. All right. I am 50% gay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What is the best, the best ever, uh, like identification of bisexuality as a man that I've, I have, uh, identified with was like, uh, I'm bisexual, which means I like women and about six twinks. I was like, ah, don't call me out like this. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go with. I feel seen, right, Ivory? <laughs> <laughs> Represent. <laughs> uh, we're turning into mind flayers. That's that's a bit panicky for my character. Who the who is this? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. This friendship's gonna go wild. We exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take oh, the first combat. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Okay, let's go. She's very full of herself. Spartan kicked her off the ship. <laughs> Amazing. You might have to help me, Jack, because I, I may be completely unaware of just how much I can do in this game. Like Spartan kicking, uh, is it Lazel? Lazel mm -hmm. uh, off a ship. Yeah. Okay. Get ready to fight. Combat happens in rounds. Each person gets turn. The game pauses. The game pauses around you during combat, so you have time to plan your actions. Okay. Your turn. During your turn, you can move, take an action, take a bonus action. Okay, so yeah, like full D and D. Okay. Okay, so we do two D8s worth of poison damage. Possibly poisons the target. Does that mean I need to, a little bit of help with the UI? The skull there, does that mean that the target will die in two turns or? <clears throat> and what else we got? Topple. Oh, they're poisoned for two turns. Okay, cool. Mage hand. Okay, friends. Sure, oh, I'm just going to do a generic uh, attack for now. Okay. So it didn't make me roll to see if we hit, but I guess that's probably the nature of the um, of the attack. It means they'll gaslight me for two turns. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got another well, one there. That always the fucking joy. It did the roll in the background. Uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I'm just going to end my turn, actually. I don't need to do anything else at this point. All right, what can you do? Uh, ranged attack. Okay, we're going to go run up close. We're going to main hand attack. Let's get this done! Oh, okay, there's the combat log. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. <clears throat> uh, yes, I've turned off Karmic Dice. Uh, let's have a look. Tiny bit of movement left. Ow, oh, you missed, loser. Missed again. I'm just so good at this game already. I kind of want to just try a few things out just to see what happens. Are you okay. saved? Yes. I was just about to say, have you saved recently? No. Oh, no. There you go. Why? I'm not going to die already, am I? I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, I can't attack. Let's... JFC follow... It's d d If it's not an already thirsty as fuck, you're doing it wrong. That's true. You need to find a way <laughs> Also, I just come off doing um, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, so I'm fully aware <laughs> of how thirsty people get. Thirsty boys! Amazing, though. Ah, let's go and get up close. I love how everybody's losing their mind over Karlak. Uh huh. I was saying right at the beginning of the stream, actually, um, when I felt uncomfortable complimenting you, that. Like, I'm, I'm really happy. I was saying that I might put Karlak and Astarian. <laughs> in my party because that's the two voice actors in this who are friends um <laughs> but then it was just lovely seeing um you know neil's very well known already but it was lovely seeing sam get the recognition that yeah. she deserves it's lovely seeing sure. good things happening to good people yeah, so that made absolutely. me very very happy sam is She's fantastic awesome. yeah we've been talking about doing a stream together at some point so that could be really fun do it 
Yeah, we will. All right, how's my how's my range? Magic missile. Oh, good range. Fuck okay, it, let's fire all three. <laughs> Safi. You're simping for Starion. Oh God, I'm gonna have words. We need we need better friends, I Millie. I can't unknow its meal though. Uh -huh. No. I've seen a Starion in a towel. I mean, what do you, what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> My story's better. That's all I'm gonna say. That makes it sound worse than it really is. Wait, which is I quite the achievement. Do I know this? I think I, I know this no, one. No, you must know this story. How Neil and I first met. I do know this one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Turn-based mode, the game is paused around you in time. Turn-based mode. Okay. Okay. So why are we in turn-based mode now, even though we're out of combat? Is it just because we're... Trying to get out of here? You did it! We did a, did done a do! <laughs> okay, out this way. We don't know it, Millie. Please go on. Hmm. Hmm. Quickly then. You know what? Fuck it. Do you want me to tell this story? Because I will. I mean, I, it's not a problem for me. <laughs> okay. So the year is whatever. I, ca I can't remember when this so was. So many years back. away. Yeah, okay. years and years. It, I think it was shortly after we first met. So that would be what? So that was... Uh... Seventeen? You know, no, do we met in two thousand fifteen? Who cares? Two thousand fifteen, we met. Anyway, it was a while back, and I hadn't done any mocap work at that point, and I just met Jay, and he'd gone. Oh yeah, uh, what have we been talking about? How my face is like hyper mobile, and he was like, "You'd be brilliant for mocap, actually. You should do some training. I'll give you the name of this company." So I contact the company, and I book him for a training course. It's all my fault. And I turn up early because that's what I do um, because I'm frightened of being late because ADHD. Um, and they, I was the first one there and the technicians showed me to this little room and gave me the skin tight suit to put on. And I was kind of like, oh, okay, this is, it was just like a little green room with a bowl of fruit and a sofa and stuff. I'm like, ah, fuck it, I'll just, I'll get changed then, I guess. So I stripped down to my underwear and then somebody else walks in and this this guy's just like oh hey hi i'm i'm neil and i'm there like in my bra and pants just like oh hey how you doing and he starts stripping off and getting into a suit and i'm like okay this is how i'm meeting this person for the first time i guess so we're both there in our underwear just chatting away other people show up and and we're all just like they they go into an actual changing room which i didn't know was there so apparently i just unnecessarily stripped and uh, talk to this person for the first time. Um, and then at the end of all this, he goes, all right, everybody, if I can just get you out volume, um, we'll go through some warm ups." And he's the fucking teacher. So that's how I met Neil Newburn for the first time. I was in my bra and pants. Needless to say, you passed that course. <laughs> What's weird is when I met Millie in a restaurant in London, she was also in her bra and pants. It was, I know. It was, it was, I would be right now, to weird. be honest. Yeah. But, you know, da, 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 da. There you go. What's that's, weird? That's how I met Neil. And when that's... I met Neil, he also started stripping off. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> Just acts of things. Yeah. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And we've been friends ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Helm control! We got it. Mystic, back. Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. Or I could just touch everything. Hmm. So me, Elmo, we're we're not focusing on that right now. Hmm. I, I think to be honest. I don't mind in a professional setting. What I was more embarrassed about was that I didn't know they were there. <laughs> <laughs> but he did. Now that you mention it, I've not thought about that before, but I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> so moving Maybe on. He's just trying to make me feel better. From Millie's uh, impromptu nudity. Yeah. How do if I like I want to investigate this button before I push it? Mm -hmm. Can I do that chat? And if so, how do I do it? 
Da -da -da -da. I'm doing a stream with Neil right on click. Friday. <laughs> I'll be sure to bring that up in front of all his viewers. So if I only get use. Yeah, no, I saw that, Bo, but there's only use, like not investigate, for example. <clears throat> That's it. So that means I can't. Let's just see what no, happens. No, no. Bellrunner, okay. don't give him too much power in this. Like, I was already stripping. It was like oh, somebody blew a sweet. dog whistle and Neil was like, somebody's half naked. Okay. Wait, what was that one again? <laughs> Annihilate and then something else. Okay, let's go over and see the mind flare. And then he can carry on talking about how she got <laughs> nude. Get me out of this <gasps> it's Shadow Heart! Oh no. Oh, lovely Jen. Yeah, but I think I might be about to kill her. Don't kill Jennifer English. Why not? I've got dark we urges. She's nice. Well, oh I'm sure you've got dark urge, aren't you? I'm sure uh, that Jennifer English is lovely. However, this is Shadow Heart. All right. Fine. <laughs> Let's see how messed up chat are. I'm going to determine what kind. All right, I'm going to I'm going <laughs> to agree with chat for now. All right, we've got a plus five to all of this. Can I can I save scum in this scene? I can't uh, kill. OK, <laughs> Connie Lingus says there's magic at work here. There's magic at work here. Determine what kind. Let's go. <clears throat> nice. Yeah, only just though. OK. Feel them drawing energy from the console near to the pod. Are you satisfied? We need to go. Oh, go on then. Oh, but I'm dark urge. No, let's find you out if they. You want. Let's find out if they're useful to me first. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Mm. Okay. Was it that one? <gasps> the console appears dormant. Oh no. Inscribe the device with the glyphs you sense from the mm. See what chat wanna do? I'm so nervous, Millie. Every decision feels like it has the weight of a thousand suns. Well, that's the surprise it does. Uh, this could be the difference between life and death, Jay. Oh, well then. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and watch. Why? Just don't fuck it because up. I'm, because I'm the fucking dungeon master. That's why. Well, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Do we just... I'm going to go for an Arcana check because we got a good Arcana. It was just me. It looks like PayPal is no longer an option for tipping. I think, Alec, like... I found with, with Streamlabs, and it depends where people are in the world, occasionally PayPal just disappears as an option for tipping. I don't know why. All right, we got a plus five. So all we need is a five and we're good. Oh, okay. Nice. I love slightly better than average. Tabletop. It's marginally better than average is my entire life. <laughs> That's it. It's like That's... your autobiography. Yeah, marginally better than average. The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more Stab it! Stab it to death! Alright, we're doing it. I'm just going for it. Do it. Suddenly you feel a hideous squirming in your head. <gasps> the parasite. 
Oh no. Discomfort fades. <laughs> oh no. Another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. She said I'm the thing. Nervous. She said the <laughs> thing. All right. Uh, I'm going to go with. So we got advantage, disadvantage. Okay. It's so cool hearing, hearing Millie's voice. Andy, trust me, live with it every day, mate. Oh boy. Yeah, guess he, you think it's still yeah. interesting a hundred hours after BG3? Wait, my PC won't work. Yeah, try it after months. Months. Oh, can you clean out the cat litter? Jay, my audio is not working. Have you uh, unmuted your mic? Fuck you. <laughs> that was one time. It was one time it was chat. Um, right. Kenneth, thank you very much for £1.69. It's not going to save you from me kicking you off the top of this <laughs> flying thing. Um, right, fuck it. I just want to roll this. Whoever designed this dice roll screen and feel to it. Mm, it's great, right? So good. It feels uh, tactile, right? Even though Wait, it isn't. Two. Yeah. All right. DC 2. So anything other than a nat 1, chat. That's all we need. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus oh. Christ! Oh, do not like you that! Lucky fucker! Woo. Skill, chat. That, what, what that was right there is skill, right? Some people got it. How can I say? <laughs> All right. right. You feel that, the but... biomechanical brain of the console process your command. Yeah, I was efficient. That's what it was. It. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. We rescued Shadowheart, boff. Time to steal her underwear and dress up Kenneth. At last. Thought I was done for. Adequate role. Yeah, that's what that was. Functional. Yeah. <clears throat> Efficient. Okay, not too much. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness. Because you have a gift with you. You keep dangerous company. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Millie, I'm such a terrible person. Um... Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is this is this is tricky. Wait, so if I change character now, can I reply as the other character in the party? No, okay. Oh no, I can. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Okay. Uh yeah, let's go with that. Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Mm. I have to go with number one, chat. All right, then, let's get going. I'm Connie Lingus. <laughs> All right, then, let's get going. I'm Connie Lingus. Yeah, let's do it. Shadowheart. One moment. I feel really bad. Connie Lingus. I'm Shadowheart. Mm -hmm. I'm a pun for oral sex. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> it's nothing. Trust me. There's no time to spare. Lead the way. Okay. Look at that. We got XP. Well done, everybody. Uh, okay. Who's this? Oh, it's a sacrifice. Flickers in his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. A fleeting image washes over you. An unwashed operating table. Your innards without the headache grows worse. Is this the son of a bitch who... Light flickers in his eyes. Okay, a fleeting I... image washes over you. An unwashed operating... That table. does sound... Your innards without the headache grows worse. Can I set him on fire? I want to <laughs> set a corpse on fire. Come on. Talk, pickpocket, throw... I'm going to attack. Um, what? You're right, Millie? Yeah, you deal with your thing. I'll deal with whatever this wants. Hi. Oh, God. 
You need something? Can yeah. yeah. Come on! <laughs> yes. Okay. Click on a spell first. <laughs> Not enough space. Okay. <laughs> Why? Not enough space. Okay. How are you missing an unconscious person? I don't know, chat. <laughs> Very evasive. I rolled a two, all right? What do you, Very well. what do you want from <laughs> me? Well, that's all right, Spongebob. As long as you don't actually like me. Take me on. God. God knows my ego can't deal with that idea. What's that? Chase that! Hey. <laughs> What? What's that? That's an intellect devourer. Let's get it. <gasps> Brain puppy. Ah. Uh, okay. He is going to the helm. To the helm he is moving. Where, where is he going? To the helm we go. We're starting to get like towards uh, threshold kids <laughs> now. That's accurate, Elmo. A brain in a jar. Okay. Got a brain jar. Good. Which cat is it? Is it Lola? Yeah. Sam! Ooh, hey, Sam. Hi, Sam. Everyone go and give uh, Samantha Bay a follow. The wonderful, talented actor responsible for the voice and uh, mocapy, facey stuff of Karlak. I, I may not kill you, Sam. Or, you know, Karlak. I definitely won't kill you. I might kill Karlak. <laughs> All right, let's, let's just do it. Bionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. Okay, let's press the annihilate button because that's always a fun day at the office. <laughs> okay. oh. Did I do it? Oh, I got called a fool. Yeah, I pushed all the buttons. <laughs> Why well, he just walked up to alien machinery and are just mashing it like a kid in a lift? Yeah, and the sacrifice cultist is now dead. Brilliant. Well done. What? What do you need? Yoink. Oh. I've now got your ring. Ha 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 ha. All right, I'm going to chase down the intellect of Arrow. Poor oh, brain. What? It looked like it would be a good footstool. Be a better hat, I think, like a beret. Come back here. Have I got anything like free mage hand, arcane recovery? How can you be mean to that now? I just told you you're beautiful. I'm just trying to it's a catch it. It keeps running away from us. I don't think we can actually engage it, you know, like in a full on conversation. It's not a Pokemon, Jay. I've got to catch them all! Hello! <laughs> Alright, Dead Thrall, yoink. Ooh, certain items such as keys, ingredients, and camp supplies are stored, sorted into handy containers in your inventory. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that has been described as my attention span running away. It's really accurate. This woman is trapped inside the pod. <gasps> She doesn't notice you. Well, that's rude. You should be paying attention in this kind of situation. I, madam, am the player's Dazed character. Trapped yeah, exactly. Pod. Pay attention to me. <laughs> I'm the main you. character in this story. Okay. Oh, everyone in roleplay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's go and read that sigil. Could mean anything. Hello, something, please. Okay. Failed. Thank you. Reaction. No, don't push it. Oh no! Oops. Oh, I should probably save, shouldn't I? We'll say yeah. Hey bees. I think I think we'll leave because I didn't mean to do that. Okay, same diff. All right, let's swap across to Connie. Do it. Push the button. Keep forgetting to save. F5. There we go. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. 
a presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Oh, what did we do? <laughs> Chat, we made it stupid. Oh. Oh. Oh, we did a dumb. Oh, hello. Change to the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. Okay, but is this to be our fate? Now we could kill it. Daddy, don't call that daddy. Come on. Stares at you, weak and dazed. Well, what if? Didn't I have a chaos orb thing, or did I not take that? The level one spell slot. Well, now you tell me after I wasted it. Mara turn off Croft saves. Uh, I did wonder, actually. Thank you. Uh, Auto save, Croft save. There we go. Thank you, Thunderstorm. Throw the brain puppy at it. Aww. Something good here, I hope. Let's go. This might unlock those controls next to the pod. No, don't well, let it be useful. Don't let it out. I'm going to sneeze now. I hear something. Voices. I hear nothing of the sort. Okay. So where are the controls next to the pod? The newborn Push it. mind flare stares at you. Weak and dazed. Uh huh. So how do I? Oh god, no! I've opened the inventory. That was a mistake. Okay, keychain, alchemy pouch. One moment, baby Cthulhu. Hold on, please. Everything in my pockets. <laughs> Just be patient. Oh, there's a chest. Hang on. Please. I mean, in a way, Cassie, those oh, okay. tentacles are made for hugging. It's in a way. Finished. Just hugging you really, really tightly. <laughs> Unless it's. Is there something back in here? Oh, wait, hang on. Do we all each need to sit in a chair? Eager for battle. Proceeding. Yeah, just a nice little brain hug. Oh, it's referring to oh, Shadow Hearts Pod. Okay. Gotcha. Evil Zoidberg. <laughs> what? 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 The comfy chair. Which one's the comfy chair? Oh, wait, hang on. Is that a new one for me to look at? No. Viscous chair. Viscous chair. I love the architecture in this scene. It's oh, it's so cool. Beautiful. Okay, chat, I'm being dense. Where am I supposed to be going? Towards a bit you haven't been to yet is usually a good bet. Well, yeah, but I thought I'd been. I've done that way. Check the map. M? Okay, there we go. This is the map of your surroundings. You can view quest <laughs> locations. God. I miss Lucius. Right, come on in, Violet. Nothing a bit of Cthulhu Hulu won't do. Let's go. Oh, gosh. This might actually be more fun, you know, than Crimpage and Heath. Do you think? Right, what are we going to do about all of these tentacles? Well, we could just sort of, you know, chop them up. All right, then. It's good Chop for them caviar. Up and them into fuckery. I like what that. Yes, let's burn the whole fucking thing down. <laughs> Hooray! Hurrah! Oh, I found a door this way. There's nothing. It's called a sphincter. I think that might be more fun. Oh, now I want to be both. Well, look, this is dreadful. <laughs> Ooh, let's become pod people. Mind flare horticulture. Okay. Mm. Please save. Violet and tentacles. This will end well. Look. 
What Crispin doesn't know won't hurt him. We are nearing the helm. <gasps> the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Call me Captain Lucius. I'll trust my own <laughs> judgment. King Yank. Oh. Okay, they're getting angry with each other. We're gonna have to kill them both, or one of them. Both or one. Yep. Ooh. Okay, on our team or not on our team? Oh. I love the artfully ripped shirt on this one. Like, oh, what's this? Oh, it just came away and showed my abs. How unfortunate. Oops. I'm confused. I thought we didn't like the mind players. We don't. I must connect the helm. But also death. Fair. Okay, so. Hell's Boar, Shadow Heart, Mind Flayer. Connie Ling is Lesser Imp, Lesser Imp. Alright, what can what can uh Lazelle do? Okay. Rush attack. Mm. Yes, right now we have a bigger enemy. It's called gravity. And it fucking hates us. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Mm, yes. Hamstring shot. Yes, that was happened to me after I ran the London Marathon. I'm going to shoot at this imp. Have at you. Him right in the face, Lulu. Oh, look at that. Bravo. Huzzah. Oh, lovely. Cracking shot. Look at that. Ten bloody experience points. On the that's right, you get ready. <laughs> oh, I didn't bother to check the uh, <laughs> the order. Okay, what can Shadowheart do? Firebolts, Shield of Faith. Cast Shield of Faith on you. And then we're going to run you in. Oh, damn. Mind Flayer's got moves, chat. All right, we are going to try and poison you. And then... I'm going to end your turn, actually. All right, let's get a duke on. Yeah. Oh, yes, we did it, chat. All right, charge. Just that curiosity date. You've never played a magic user in this game before, have you? Correct. <laughs> okay. What? Why? On the move. Oh, this... Move you there. Oh, the infinite supply of things. Oh, no. Yeah, I know about spell slots and stuff. It's fine. Okay, great. That takes a level one spell slot. I've got one left. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Cassie says, Jay, I have a random question. Are you reading the spells or are you just casting the prettiest spell like a chaos copy? Uh, I'm reading quite fast. Best be on my way. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there a dash option where you can just do double your movement? It's got to be in there somewhere. Dip dash. Dip dash. There we go. <laughs> Crimpit narrator voice pack. Holy shit. Regards you recklessly. We, we missed. All right, let's get you up close. Uh, I did a little pommel strike. Was that a bonus action? Nice. Authority. Bless her. Uh, what do we got? Blessing. Grant another creature advantage on stealth. Sacred flame and golf attack. Yes. Alright, that's all my sl sl uh, uh, spell slots. One gone. Got to press on. When did you last say? Uh, look, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Uh. Light on my feet. Alright, we're gonna dash again. Where's our dash? Here we go. 
it's so far away. <gasps> Hurry before they strike. I'm running. Oh, okay. It's a very different nice. experience, Sam, um, isn't it? Playing Dark Edge. I must reach the helm. Uh, how's your range? Not that good. All right, let's move first then. On the move. Peg it, Lulu. He's massive. I'm on the way. Please use the last of your movement. And then you. Mm, how much are we damaging you? Not very much. 1d6 plus 1 bludgeoning. Yeah. 1d6 plus 1. 1d10 fire. Ah, uh, we're gonna leave you to fight the mind flare. We're off. Yeah! <laughs> I get dicked. Nice. <laughs> uh, okay. Who are we currently? Okay, this is us. Oh, we could get to there with a dash, I reckon. Time to press ahead. Curse to put my hands on everything. C cursed the to put my hands on everything. We did it! We made it in time. Come on, put the little tent all together oh. and get it done. Oh no. Oh shit, oh, shit. it's massive. This soundtrack. We did it, Millie. Question mark. Apparently, I left a lot of, lot of loot behind. I didn't know, chat. I was just mission focused. Do you know what I mean? You don't need loot when you're as a, a, as much of a tactical genius as I am. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, I have cat hair all over my face now, Lola. Thanks for that. That's so pretty. Mm -hmm. When do we get Kenneth? That's all I need to know. <laughs> uh oh. He's the bad guy. Uh oh. Kenneth catches us. Come on, Kenneth catches us, surely. Well, Mary Jane Watson could have done with that. Am I right, chat? Oh, Hashtag too soon. Okay. Real nerd reference, but never mind. Oh, it was Gwen, wasn't it? You're quite right, Kazi. One of the why is one of the best done deaths in uh comic book. It's so good. You half expected your memories to return once you were free of the mind flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. If you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon, your future will be as blank as your past. Your head whispers vengeance. 
You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. <gasps> we did it. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's a brutal death. <laughs> brutal death. All right. Okay, mangled Fisher. Oh. Mm. It sounds like a dreadful pub. I am right, kind of... Welcome to the Mangle Fisher. What? Yeah, it's uh, Dave. Dave. Dave, yeah, it's me, Dave. You want to go down the old Mangle Fisher? Yeah, no, Stacy's doing my fucking nutting, mate. Let's go for a couple down the Mangle. Oh, God. No, oh. Down the Fisher. I'm, I'm going to just... take Stace down the Fisher. It's not a. Yeah. No, it's not, is it? It's not good. Not great. There we go. I've just. Oh, it does work quite well on console. I'm Fresh just. Water. I'm just seeing what it's like. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. It's certainly easier from a camera perspective. Hidden the knives, so that's progress. What? Let's go. I really want to play just an out and out dreadful cockney in a tabletop or somewhere. Mm -hmm. Applause, please. You drink in the pungent corpse. Oh, Millie. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty, but something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half smile flittering across your face. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, I don't need, I, I don't need to ask. This feels like home. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. Ooh, my Warhammer RPG had quite an attribute. What, when I played with Peachy? No, I won't. <laughs> oh, Shadowheart. Oh, just on my head just went killer. What? I will be I will be going back to Shadowheart, don't worry. Let's just check in. Yeah, yeah, I'll just check in loot right, first. I've saved you one. Yeah. God, come on. Oh god, okay, maybe this does get slightly more confusing. Shove, jump, dip. Dash, hide, disengage. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Terra Trooper. I fucking love voicing Dark Edge. Thanks for all the entertainment, Millie. Wow, Kel. Wow. <laughs> oh, wait. Hey, Emily. I'm getting raided. Shall I do the thing? Uh -oh. Do the thing. Do the thing. All right. I got to do the thing. I got to do the thing, chat. I am. Seeing as we're getting raided. Oh, Millie's, Millie's gone. Me's gone! I'm gonna turn her off. Uh, as always. Put on. Hello and welcome to this breaking news with me, Arthur Sleep. Yes, Jay was in the middle of standing above an unconscious character wondering if he really should let the dark urge take hold and rip them limb from limb and then go, oh goody, what loot I've got, when yes, they were raided by, yes, 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 no, I've lost my cursor, no, no, they fucked it in the director's booth, no, somebody's getting kicked in the shins later on repeatedly over and over, but thank you very much for the raid, come on in, settle down, there is some, uh, seats there just at the front but we are breaching fire protocol so don't tell anybody and i won't take a seat there to my intern kenneth will be along any moment offer you a section of tea coffee hot chocolate he's now stocking a range of herbal teas we're all quite shocked about this if you're very lucky though he'll lean forward and whisper far too closely into your ear about his dark urges but now it's time to go to the weather with uh, oh yes it's connie lingy it's, uh, Hello, Raiders! Let me bring Millie back up. There you are, I'm bringing Millie back on. Oh, Millie's gone. She's gone. She's gone, chat. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. There we go. There we go. Raiders! Thank you very much, Raiders. Welcome on in. Sorry, I uh, didn't catch the name. My uh, thing scrolled too fast. It's too fast. 
Too far, couldn't see it. But Roll Together RPG, that's a great name. Roll Together RPG, welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. Um, yeah, Stark Edge, Baldur's Gate with the narrator over there. Oh, hi. Look at them. Hey. All the way over there. Oh, <laughs> hey. Welcome on the adventure. Okay, let's go. Hey. All right. Oh, yeah, we were going to we were going to possibly kill and steal this person's armor. I mean, what? Is Jay's thing too fast? That's quite the question. Yes. <laughs> it's very fast. Yeah. Do we wake her or rob her? I mean. <laughs> you are Dark Edge. I am Dark Edge. The Dark Edge to gently wake someone with a nice mm. cup of tea. Just gently wake her with a rock to the face. Hmm. Yeah, it's good. Chatter is dark. <laughs> it's your granite alarm call, Miss Shadowheart. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's try and rob her blind. We're not a particularly stealthy character, admittedly. <laughs> oh. What are you doing? I don't care. I'm just going to admit I was going to rob you. Well, that's honest of you. <laughs> don't do it again. I'll give you a pass this time, considering I owe you my life. I did just try and touch Speaking her box. Of, yeah. How are we alive? Oh, wait. Welcome mm. on the adventure. Hmm. Luck. Doesn't matter. True. Oh. Seems like we're the lucky well, ones, on, judging by all the corpses strewn about. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. Hmm. <sighs> oh, I want to be meaner though. Let's ask about our gith friend, which I misread as goth friend and thought that we were just being mean about ourselves. <laughs> You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Jesus. She got issues. Okay, I've gone back to mouse and keyboard. I think it's going to work better. <clears throat> uh, no, we're not going to look for her. Leave her for dead. No. I Any idea where we are? Place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. That's true. Oh, it's chat. Chat of the tadpole <gasps> we had all oh, along. Oh, well done, chat. Hello, my little tadpoles. <laughs> Let's see if you want to bring her into the party then, chat. I'll let you uh, decide. <laughs> Ba -ba 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 -ba. Anubis, thank you very much for the donation. Very kind of you. You've clearly got dementia and have gone mad. No, I don't want a round of beers at the mangled fisher. <laughs> we? You want to stay together? Question mark. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Hmm. I don't know why I'm letting chat have so much control. Shadow simping. Nah. Murder her and steal her armor. Oh, chat. Uh, chat are close. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh. Chat, you ruin everything. We could have done our first murder. <laughs> Fine. Well, like, One thing. Bye. Nice Just to see you. Definitely not going to circle back round. For freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod. Shadowheart approves. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Don't smile. You've got dark urge. Come on. <sighs> oh, there's just so much to do in this game. I'm already overwhelmed. I got clams. How much further can you I go? You can smile if you're dark urge. Yeah, but I didn't want to smile at Shadowheart. I wanted her to know how 
aggravated I was. No, I keep it secret. Some of the worst people I know smile loads. All right, so. <laughs> keep the creepy mask on. Creepy mask. Creepy mask. It's just like, it's just so big, chat. This is overwhelming. <clears throat> oh, I got a loot. Not proficient with... Can I play it? Can that be my... Just play it badly. Yeah, that's that's how I'm gonna... <laughs> that's what my druid plays in my Sunday games. Yeah, look at not, this! Not a loot, but she's shit at playing. <laughs> okay, I will unequip my... Loot. And where, where did I put the loot? There it is. Look, Fluzzle, don't call me out like that. Millie the gutter mind. Millie's a good God-fearing Christian, I'll have you know. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. God. I have never had a bad thought in my life. Mm -mm. Mangled Fisher. Invalid hey, target? Come on! Millie, this game won't let me stab any... Desecrate any corpses. It's not like our Saturday game at all. Oh, we're the baddies in our Saturday you game. We really are the baddies. <laughs> well, we um, accidentally, accidentally killed a man's son in front of him. He was some sort of monster, I think. And then he hung himself and Jay decapitated what? him. And then no. we weekend at Bernie's him out of a church and then claimed the church as our own. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, he was the priest. Yeah. Mm. I, I will say... Fine. Fine. I, it also took me more than one attempt to decapitate him. Yeah. During which Millie's Fine. character may have been batting at his body like a cat. Oh yeah. With a toy. She's Look, a tabaxi. I had new hand axes. I was very respectfully chopping the rope that this guy was hanging from, but I just missed. And the first one went into him. So <clears throat> did, the, did the second one. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Just like the corpses that we found behind that waterfall and artfully rearranged. Left respectfully. I think. Yes, we left them exactly as we found them. Mm hmm Oh no, wait, I just pressed the wrong button and then I winked randomly at camera. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. There's just so much here. Bucket of fish, yes. Always want a bucket of fish. <laughs> I really hope that comes in useful at some point. Well, a bucket of fish. Yeah. And we all row with the spray upon our necks. And we all row with the spray upon our backs. And we all row with the sea beneath our feet. And the bitch queen stays the storm. Ebert. We all know this one, right? Yeah, I only didn't join in because I've already sung it twice today. Yeah. And I'm a little... Wave, mother, wave, mother, lash us to the prow. Oh, wave, mother, wave, mother, we ask to sail your skirt if you allow. It's a little bit, the rhythm's hard on that one. Yeah. 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 All right, we've got some sea shanties. <laughs> nice. Big book o' shanties. <laughs> In your inventory, you'll find big book o' shanty. <laughs> Oh, that's my next D&D character. Hello, oh, I'm Booko Book Shanty. Shanty. <laughs> Booko right. Shanty. Booko Shanty. <laughs> okay, you can read books and notes you've picked up in your inventory, which is important as a wizard, because I have to learn shit. Uh, oh, a perfumed letter. Ooh. Give it a read. I'm trying. Oh, there we go. Read. Can you see that on screen? Can you read that as Connie Lingers? Oh, it... that is a little too low res for me. I could, I could do it. It's fine. Where's my... Oh, no, it? I can read it now. Oh, okay. I can read it now that I can see it on screen. There you go. Sigh, I love you. There, I said it. Oh, if you wait. Me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again. And I'll keep on saying it until we're old and grey. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so staying here. The last few months have been hard, but they're always a little easier when you're here. 
Leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do without the rest. Don't be late. Love, Anna. Oh, all right. Did you like before? I decided to give it a bit of extra spice. Like, <laughs> Sai is notoriously late. Yeah, the romance sort of tails off at the end, doesn't it? Yeah, well, he's, he should be on time for things. Yeah, like, like every relationship. All right, moving on. Yeah. Hey. <sighs> Our relationship is so empty, we now have to do it publicly just to keep <laughs> us motivated. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh. Let's stream, all right? Let's just, oh. Let's force ourselves to pretend for four hours. <laughs> okay. Thieves tools, thank you very much. Is it going, chat? Do you believe we like each other yet? I know. Yeah, they think they successfully shipped us all those years ago. <laughs> Holy! Several well, years of full on con. Yeah. I couldn't put up with you even for a con. All right. <laughs> uh, I got a lot of dead intellect devourers. I don't even have ADHD. I fake the diagnosis to annoy you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have kids. I just want to go somewhere else every other weekend. <laughs> Okay. Oh, my face hurts. Oh, right. Come on, Millie. This is serious. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> uh, right. Do I want to go into the wreckage? Let's go into the wreckage. Mysterious liquid. Mm, let's go. Oh, God. Oh, dip, dip your sword in it. See what happens. Oh, okay. You can dip. Uh, yeah, I've saw so many. Oh, no. <gasps> What it's did you do? Time to fight! What are you fighting and why? Oh, the little brain boys. It's uh, intellect of ours dashing right at us. <laughs> some dashing <laughs> right oh, at us. He's Look got at this. some speed on him, hasn't he? I'm going to do a concussive smash right on his fucking stupid face. No, I'm not. I'm too Switch far away. Come no, on, Lulu, no, do I've it. made a mistake. How do I get out of? I don't want to do it anymore. I don't fucking know. I'm going to I run. I'm going to shove. <laughs> I'm, go I'm going to run up to an intellect devourer and just push it over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A drop kick. Is there a drop kick option? Uh, there is. I can jump, I can dip, I can shove. I, mean, I don't know if I'm close enough to shove. I can! Come on, fuck off! Oh. Did I, you just run into fire? I fa No, I failed my athletics check when I tried to shove the intellect devourer. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's... But you're in fire now. Is that the thing? I'm fine. Kill? It's fine. Fuck me. Uh, oh yeah, we left their melee rage. We got attacked. I can't believe they let you breed. Again, that's what you think. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to just position myself here for now, I think. I got to get to us first, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, I am going to cut. So what does Mage Hand do? Create a spectral hand that can manipulate and interact with objects. Okay. <clears throat> Cloud blinds and heavily of... Okay. Mm. Uh, arcane recovery. That's just fucking magic missile. Little Debbie does Dallas over here. Oh, I forget that you can do three different targets. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Bravo, devs. That's a very pretty magic missile. Tight on my sex tape. Okay. Oh, they've got to get to us first. See you, Sam. Let us know when you stream. Because uh, I know you've like literally just got set up today, right? Uh, on Twitch. Everyone going to give the wonderful Samantha Bayart a uh, follow. The voice of Karlak. Uh, general Good Egg. See you soon. Oh, we could do Guide and Bolt. What's that? A level one spell slot. That's a disadvantage. Target's too close. All right. That's... Really? That's a disadvantage as well? Mm -hmm. Oh, because we're threatened. Okay. What are their names? Yes! And now? Oh no, you're gonna get an opportunity attack. Mm -hmm. In which case, I wanna just shove <laughs> shove another devourer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Get him. I like a good shove. 
Oh, so no. chat, the, the filling up portraits at the top with red, right? That's their HP. Yeah, you are not doing well. Look, we are winning, okay? Are you? Mm, potion of healing. I, I might take that. Oh, potion of healing is a bonus action. Okay, so we're going to leave. Oh. Magic Missile is another level one. Yes, everybody pray to Lolf. Sorry, Rolf. That's a thought. If we're going to be playing as Violet and Lucius, yes. if that were an option, what would they be? What, like what um, class would they be? Uh-huh. All right, we're going to get far away here. I don't know. Well, Lucius is a wordsmith, right? So he'd have to be mm -hmm. and a snake oil salesman. So he'd have to be uh, charm heavy, essentially. Mm -hmm. Charm, persuasion, education. So, yeah, bard or a rogue, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Bard, probably. Mm -hmm. but, but Violet is not dissimilar, but she has she uses different skills to the same I effect, I guess. Would, she would probably be a druid. Mm. I think probably. That feels yeah, that feels right because she was the yeah. scientist among us, wasn't she? Yeah. yeah. But with a slightly too small head. <laughs> Actually, let's go with the standard attack. <laughs> I love that we rolled with that. God damn it, I'm messed up being with those three. Oh, they're just the best. Oh, that was great fun. Okay, end of the day, your replenishable resources are dwindling. Take a long rest to Oh, it's gone! I didn't read it fast enough on account of being stupid. In my head. Thank you, Carlo. Thank you. I, I really appreciate the the backup. Was this nobody Violet's tiny head? head yes. Nobody thinks about us. We have to go to a specialist milliner. It's true. Cost mother and father a fortune. In tiny no. hats. A fortune in time. No, they're quite big hats to make up for it. They're oh, I see. The illusion of volume. Give your head. No. <laughs> move on. All right. This all, this all started because Jay, Jay's character, we, we used to role play these online um, in Red Dead, um, and Jay's character uh, was my character's brother and was always going on about how I was just a tiny, tiny headed woman. She was. So we rolled with it as if it was literal and her head was just slightly too small. That's yep. why she wore a cat all the time. Because as... But you have to bear in mind, it's a very specific relationship, these two. And bear in mind, this is, we were playing the 1880s. Uh, and uh, Lucius was just the ro most horrific misogynist because it's 1880s and he was a rich Englishman. He's like, no, my sister Violet, she has a tiny head because she can only keep two thoughts in it at one time. I know, one of, one of them's always ponies. One of them's always ponies. And that's it. <laughs> yes, very good. <laughs> But that's what I loved about them in the reality. They like the way they looked after each other in uh -huh. in their own ways was was really yeah. quite beautiful. And she fucking carried him the whole way. Just a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Such an English lord voice. Well, I mean, Lucius was quite close. Yep. He, knew, he knew a lord once. <laughs> Hide. Where's what my dick? Mummy and daddy own half of Shropshire. That's true. Mummy and daddy did own half of Shropshire. All right, so. Only half, though. Let's get this. That's true. I think they could be a lot of fun to play as. Mm hmm. I did. Oh. Jay. Mm, the bad thing. Oh, God. Mm. Jay. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, save. <laughs> what did you do? Wait, is, is Lazel dead? Oh no, they're downed. Okay. I may have accidentally just set a whole bunch of shit on fire. It's fine. I remember having a cracking conversation with those two about Merkins. That sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> Lucius probably would have sold them if he thought he could make a quick buck. Yeah. Made right. from the finest badger pelt. Absolutely. Plus, of course, being an alabaster merkin, it gives your uh, 
Your member, righteous virtue, strong all night. Righteous virtue. Righteous virtue. Your penis can go to church. All right. <laughs> Sorry, flashbacks of Valentine Church. <laughs> um. Oh, Ultra and I just desecrated that place. Not as us in character. In a, during a funeral. <laughs> yeah. Just you and dreadful. Victor were not as innocent as people thought they were. They were dreadful. <laughs> they messed up a lot of places. I quite liked when we told people that Lucius and uh, Violet gave money to charity, but then when it got further into it, it was because we <laughs> threw we threw money at the poor as, as we <laughs> rode around. Time, because we can get a really good spin on them. Yes. <laughs> now we give, we give lots of money to the poor. You can really whip a shilling off a peasant's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I forgot how much fun they were. So great. And Violet was just <clears> the <throat> loveliest person, but she was one of those upper class people who don't understand mm -hmm. that what they've grown up around is horribly toxic. So she's saying it all just like it's fun. Yeah. What a lovely she day. Didn't it at all. Oh, you actually get a proper cam? Oh, that's cute. Yeah. But is the camp uh No, it's it's not like where you actually set up the camp. It's just you know, you teleport to a different uh different Astarian place. would have absolutely hated Violet. Mm -hmm. She was too nice. Plus Violet would be too uh she was very like uh aware when it came to men. Mm -hmm. So she would have she known would, exactly what Astarian was. She would very innocently have read him to absolute filth. Yeah. What, there was you one guy at one point. The reliable sort. But oh. Are you sure this is a good idea? Ooh. Ooh. Camp changes on rest location. Oh, that's cool. See, now I'm caring. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I kind of want these two to romance the fuck up. Let this be a power couple. Um, it'll be all right. Fine, but not for too long. Each hour that passes, the thing inside us grows. Oh, yeah, that's true. We need to find a healer. Let's wake up at first light. That's true. My dark urge is just the urge to bang everyone. <laughs> oh, no, not murder. No, I'm just a sex pest. All right, agreed. That's our priority to find always is uh, this is unfamiliar territory. Um Well let's let's just agree. Uh, a little romance. Maybe we'll get lucky. We're overdue some good fortune. Romance! Romance. We'll need our strength. I can't romance a Starian though, because it's just Neil. Starian we're killing as soon as we find him. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> mean. Uh, <gasps> I've just thought what we can call this. Hmm. The, the date night. The, the date night. D and D date night. D and D, 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 D date night. Yeah. <clears throat> and then that puts the D in dickheads, date night. Dickheads, dickheads and date night. Dickheads and date night. Hmm. No, it doesn't quite work. Hmm. We'll, we'll figure something out. I just want to investigate and touch everything. Wait, no, that's not why. I, I didn't mean yeah, it quite no. like that. Just rubbing yourself over everything in camp. Ah! He's getting his mask all over everything. That's what he does whenever we make camp. Musk. Just don't romance him then. Yeah, but I could just kill him. Okay, what Those else? Those are not the only two options. I you mean. Sound like a lot of men when they meet Malady, like, I can't kill you and I can't fuck you. What are you for? Well, well, darling, what? I'm here to advance the plot and you can't Conversation. get off the without me, so shush. <laughs> you want me to talk to you, do you? God. <laughs> Conversation with a woman. With a woman? What are we going to talk about once we've exhausted all two of the thoughts in your head? <laughs> Oh, this is very pretty, this game, though. Is Jay actually playing Shag, Marry, Kill? Yeah, except it's just Shag, Kill. That's it. 
Go check your camp chest. There's some tension between Malady and Losa. I, I don't think that counts as tension, does it? Like, that's a little bit more than tension, I would say. Just a <sighs> recognition that she's her favorite. Which one's the camp chest? Is that this one? The traveler's chest, you mean? We got some dye. Okay. Okay, we got a boat. A boat! Boats, boats, boats! Millie, I'm so hungry. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah. God, the camp is actually really big. So. <clears throat> Hi, Frood! Thank you very much for 41 months, Frood. That's insane. Absolutely insane. All right, hang on, try. I'm just going to scroll my freaking Twitch up. There we go. There we go. Click. Click. Okay. So when do we actually get a rest? I know this sounds like a dumb thing. We've gone to camp, right? But our HP is still mm -hmm. low. So is it when we come out of camp, it'll all go back up? I only know the story, darling. You're going to have to figure out the mechanics for yourself. Oh, figure out. Look near the campfire. Thanks, Dad. Oh, okay. Once we go to bed. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Snacking or eating while playing D&D is a time on a tradition show you could eat while you play. I know, but I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to lose weight. Aha. Okay. And today. Be really good at the moment. Because apparently we overate for the entire pandemic. <laughs> 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 there is no apparently about it. <laughs> no, there isn't. Uh, okay. End the day and restore hit points and spell slots. To fully rest, you must use enough camp supplies. Uh, okay. We can just do that and gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You could eat veggies. You shut your filthy fucking mouth. Suggesting fucking vegetables like fucking carrots and broccoli. Sorry, Tay, you didn't need to hear that no, kind of suggestion from a mod, no lease. Suggesting snack I on a lettuce. I'm imagining it just gnawing on it. What is the? What is wrong with all of you? All right, full rest. As you writhe with sickly dreams, a deep Ooh. dread Ooh. floods you. Though you have a tadpole, you know your broken mind is not like the others who bear the worm. A few scraps of the past come back to you now and then, <laughs> but you can never quite tell where the knowledge comes from. Inexplicable, violent yearnings overwhelm all other thoughts. Who could you possibly be to be their vessel? Let's go. No, legit, I snack on a bag of leaf spinach. It's amazing tasting. Yes, but that just means that you, in fact, are a rabbit. That's it. All right. Think upon your heritage. Is there truth hidden there? Contemplate your craft. Why do you have the skills you do? Ooh. Probe your mind. What thought stands out the most? The answer is simple. You must be death herself. That's it. Number four. <laughs> the answer is bleak. You were once someone alive. I'll ask, I'll ask chap while... Uh, we answer Jackie Cub. Uh, do you find it weird hearing your voice in things? Do you want to? Do you want to answer that first thing as we're hearing uh, a lot of yours? I used to. I used to find it very, very, very weird, and now I'm kind of used to it. I guess. I think I would find it hard to play a game I was in unless I was playing with somebody else. Um, but hearing the voice doesn't bother me anymore, unless I don't like it. Unless I've done something I feel yeah. like I could have done better. What about you? Yeah, it's exactly the same. Like, it did, I think, for, like for me, most people go through a period where they're like, they they just don't they they just get used to, used to hearing their own voice, regardless of whether it's in a game or anything. Mm. You know, the first time you hear your voice on tape. But I've, you know, done done singing and recordings and musical theatre and all that kind of stuff for no end of years. So by the time it came to actually doing voiceover work, I was like, I was used to hearing my own voice, so that wasn't weird. But I'm like Millie, really, like. Usually the only reason I won't like it is because I'm like, I fucking hate that performance or I wish I, I wish we'd done this or that or, you know, whatever. But um, this isn't pulling me out as much as I thought it would hearing you. No, no, because usually that's the, that's the biggest downside, to be honest, is if you know the people, it becomes so much harder to just 
hear the character. And that's through no fault of the actor, but it's like when we meet Astari and I'm, my brain will just go, oh, that's Neil. So usually it's like, ah, oh, I don't want any games to be spoiled. When if I, if I don't know anybody in the cast, I'm just like, yeah, I can just imagine these are all who they, who they're telling me they are. There are many, many more kills ahead of you. That is you, <laughs> a killer. You recall waking up, hearing the pounding war drum of blood. How much you treasured the sight of the first corpse you touched. <laughs> oh, oh, chat, okay. Um, but yeah, if you do have any, you know, voice acting questions, chat, be, uh, feel free to throw them at us. I mean, God, between us, we've got, what, 50 something years of VO? <laughs> it's too many. Lean deeper into your foul imaginations. Wonder why these memories are so beautiful. Oh, that's an interesting way of putting it. There's worse in my head than a tadpole. Ooh, Ooh that's close. Mm. I love this uh, integration though with Twitch. It's super seamless. Mm. <sighs> what was the first voice acting <clears throat> roles you had? Jay. Um, I. Th oh. It depends if you're talking about game roles or like acting roles versus corporate. Because my first VO job was a corporate. I think it was mm -hmm. for Fox Technology. It was Fox Technologies in 2009. Was my first ever like, uh, you know, booked and paid VO gig mm. yeah there you go for something very exciting uh and mine was a christmas commercial i can't remember what it was for because i was five years old so that was 1986 so it's been a while are we have we just zeroed in on why you're not that much of a fan of christmas why because you did a Christmas ad when you were five. Oh, no, the ad was great. That oh. was the intro to my career. No, I don't like Christmas because my dreadful mother. Ah, good old parental <laughs> trauma. Oh, yay. I can finally say it publicly. And now, on that <laughs> note, we will lean deeper into foul imaginations. Yay. Your body feels aroused, imagining a broken, twisted neck. And a thrill thinking of a trailing intestine. I am aroused. How do you These know, Millie? Flood to your mind. You fall soundly asleep like a babe in arms. Oh. Blood. Blood. Mm. Blood. Mm. Blood. Blood. Oh, I might try that tonight. <laughs> Is there ever a time you aren't aroused? Yes, sometimes I am asleep. That doesn't necessarily <laughs> mean. You are right there, Ivory? Everything okay? <clears throat> what I will say is I'm going to give uh, Millie some kudos right now. Uh-oh. Yeah. Prepare to receive kudos okay, is... It's all right. I'm going to preface it by the mm -hmm. wanky... The... Millie and I hate this this phrase, but sometimes you have to use it. Um, mm -hmm. as, as a voice actor... <laughs> Because usually it's always that. started with like, as yeah. a voice actor, but as, as a voice actor, I'm joining this Twitter thread unbidden, even though it's got yeah. nothing to do with me, to tell you I'm a voice actor and yeah. I hope you'll give me money. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that means. Never say that. Yeah. It's my nan's birthday today. Well, as a voice actor, I'd just like to wish your nan <laughs> a happy birthday. <laughs> um, but no, what I was going to say was, as a voice actor, I know how sometimes fucking awful a line like that can be where it's like blood 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 because mm -hmm. it's so easy to get focused on you start hearing the sound of each word and you're aware that mm -hmm. this is this is like generally people don't sit there and repeat the same word over and over and over again so it's quite an unnatural thing but i mean that was a flawless read oh well, thank you flawless basically basically Jar, this is this is what i find fascinating about vo work and i'm going to talk just for a tiny tiny second about it it's like you, you hear the big screamy scenes where someone is you know there and we 
Let's be honest. Most voice actors have done these scenes where, oh, your wife or your partner's just died. Yeah. You got these huge, big emotions, which, to be perfectly honest, from my side of doing those things, they're much easier to get into because mm -hmm. you've got so much more to get hold of. But when it's something like that and you're, you just have to naturally or say a word over and over and over again, but it should sound completely natural and not false. And the first time the narrator has ever said that, that is so fucking hard to deliver. I always call it like, it's what I call my, would you like a cup of tea test? Mm -hmm. Like crying about your dead kid or well, your wife or your partner or house has burned down is easy. Ask me if I'd like a cup of tea and let me believe that that's just you going, do you want a cup of tea? Like that's so much harder to deliver. Um, so yeah, so just bra fucking vo, really? There you go. Thanks. I said so. the same word five or six times. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. Had a bag of holding. And you didn't have fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, have a word <laughs> after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so this means I have to stop chanting blood. No, you just have to do it really well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to shit people up, do it properly. Jeez. I started a blood cult by mistake. Let's yeah. See. I'm afraid so. How do I... Oh, leave camp. There we go. Blood. Blood. It's why, mm -hmm. like, I know we're both big fans of the performance in What Remains of Edith Finch. Because it's mm -hmm. such a down-the-middle read in terms of just it's just a person naturally telling you about this story of their yeah. life. And it's just it nailed. Nailed it. Valerie was amazing in that role. One of the best standout performances. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Blood. Blood. Ooh, blood in it. See, that's not good. <laughs> it's not a good read. A little bit too much. Oh my god. He's there. How are we meeting a story in this early on? Wait. Is that why I'm a Nemia Tiger? What why? Because you got you've given all your blood away to chanting. Maybe that's why I start the blood cult. It's to get me more blood. Oh, actually that works. Yeah. 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 Uh, can we snooze those uh, ads if any mods can click on it? I need some help. Oh, shut up, Neil! <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm going to kill him. Come on, Neil. I've got a bushless and need something. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? <laughs> it's Neil! I can't unhear it! I love Neil to death. This is the perfect, like, it's such good casting. Uh, to cast Neil as a Starion. Uh, let's see. How you want to start? Da, 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 da. Oh, hi, Neil. <laughs> hi. Kill it yourself? Yeah, let's give Astarian some shade. <laughs> Alright, chat are quite clearly going salty. <clears throat> Neil and Astarian are just one. It's true. Yeah. Oh, I can... Yeah, there's definitely some Valon in Astarian Valon. Mm -hmm. And also, sorry, can we get a shout out for Valon, by the way? Hey, Valon. Valon, the uh, chat's been going so fast, buddy. Everyone go and give Valon a follow. They are fucking wonderful. They're a thoroughly good egg. Very intelligent bean. They've been very, very helpful to me in the last few weeks. And they're just a good person. You did it ages ago? Oh, well, look at that. Look at my mods. Well, I look at one of my mods and then Horny just fucks it up. But, you know. Well done. Thanks for trying, Horny. I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Can we be introduced to the cat? I mean, Millie. Introduced to the cat. Hang on. <laughs> Everybody, this is Lola. She is a void. Uh, she is uh, part floof, part panda. Uh, and she will ruin your life and everything you're doing unless you touch her face constantly. Mm. <laughs> uh, she has sharp feet that she likes to use to get into the bedroom and pick tiny threads off the sheets. Um, and that's that's basically it. She she wants all the attention all the time. She is quite useful though, because if, if either Millie or I have stayed in bed longer than we should have, the other one of us can just let Lola in and it's immediately <laughs> up onto the bed, just on your face. Like you might be scrolling, I... stick, scrolling TikToks and she's just like, no, that phone's mine. Get rid of the shiny rectangle human. <laughs> nudge, nudge. It's just, it's just 
you know. Also, she she has a toy that she practices talking with, and only when she's alone. That's just adorable. One toy. She'll so just wander around singing to it, and if you turn up and go, "What are you doing?" She'll just go, "Nothing." Yeah, I wasn't talking to a cat. Whatever. Don't, yeah. don't be stupid. Uh, but we have four cats in total. So just I'm answering that because somebody asked the other day. Um, and also, Millie's Millie's got a much better answer to this question about how many dice we own. <laughs> now, bear in mind, Millie has ADHD. So has mm-hmm. to has to buy new dice every time she rolls because she doesn't know where the other dice have gone. Mm-hmm. But mine, where are mine gone? I can't find mine. I think I've got about three different sets of dice. I'm gonna look. We're all looking for dice. Uh, oh. I'm trying to remember where all mine are now. Okay, hang on. I'm just gonna go back to chat okay. cam. Oh, hang on, Millie. Let me bring you into this uh, into this other scene. I've gone to big cam so I can show off me show off me dice. Big cam. Why can't okay, I? You, you... E F G. There we go. Ah! <clears throat> Millie is enormous. There we go. Hey. On the screen. Uh, so I have. <laughs> in fact, I think I think you might have bought me all of these dice. I think I've only got two sets in here. Um. So I have this kind of basic one. I don't know what they I don't know what they're made of, but a beautiful colored uh pattern. Very very nice. Uh but then these are my favorite ones and the Millie definitely did get me these. Let me find the the D20. It is solid metal. Uh, it's not actually a Discord call. It's Twitch's guest star guest uh, stuff, and clearly it's a bit shit. So yeah, that's my favorite two sets of dice. Millie, do you want to hold yours up for class? Um, well, I've hold up the got, bucket. So I've got some metal ones. Uh, my my favorite metal one. I don't have it here, and I can't remember where I've put it actually. Um, but it's a really weird. 3D print one. Um, but I have some kind of uh, snaky metal ones. Which are kind of fun. And some just regular metal ones. And this is where you realize quite how bad I am. Um, and some... That's pretty fucking cool. I love this one. Is that focusing okay? It's still on you, I think. Yeah. You have to hold it in front of your face. Aha! There you go. That's pretty cool, I think. Um, so I've got those. I've got like a whole bunch of. Hold up the shoot. bucket, Millie! Come on! Hang on! <laughs> these, these are really fucking cool. I only got these a couple of weeks ago, uh, and I don't know how I'm going to show you this on camera. Um, but they've got a little eyeball in. So the liquid core with an eyeball, and it looks like um, if if Ford's nightmares from Critical Role were um, were real dice, that's what they would look like. I've got all sorts. Of, the, I've got those, and then these ones, which are like druidy ones that I'm using, uh, that were going to be for my druid character at the moment. Um, but we decided to roll online and that's actually much better for my ADHD. And then these ones. I really like dice. In case you hadn't noticed. I, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan. Just say you have a problem. Like this is a safe... It's safe, not a problem for me. It's a safe area, Millie. It's not a problem. What will be a problem is when I start <laughs> going to conventions again. No, God! Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try and open the door to your office and it'll just be like a floor of dice that I have to push my way yeah, in. Pretty much. I yeah. just and that will never be enough. I love them all, they're all so beautiful. The irony is, you know, like even me with like the two or three uh sets that I've got, is how often do it either of us actually roll a physical dice in At all the, the moment, not much. Yeah. But I'm hoping soon and I just love them. Yeah. I want to get. I really want to get a dice tower for rolling dice. You 
can, you've got a 3D printer now. You can make one. Oh, no, I'm tempted. Um, yeah, Comic-Con London. That's going to... That's going to be a, an experience that I'm definitely not going to spend lots of money at. Everyone go to Comic-Con <laughs> London and say hello to Millie because she's wonderful. There you go. <laughs> I did it. I shouted you out. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Can we, can we give Hello. Starian shit now? Yeah, do it. Do yeah. it. Give Neil shit. I mean, Starian is definitely a different person. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Oh, you didn't just fucking start. <laughs> oh, you didn't just fucking start, sunshine. You are made for each other, you two. Murder kiddies. Oh, DC 10 check against this stealth attack? Well, now we have to fuck. Hang on. That's so Neil. All right. Oh, I can add a bonus. Ooh, why do I get... Oh, I get a uh, guidance from my cantrip. Oh, that's from Anubis. Shadowheart. Nice. Anubis, I read that like you've just realized where you are. Not that there's a future plan. Just like, fuck, I'm in Munich. Shit. Not, not again. <laughs> this keeps happening. Oh, get fucked, Neil. I mean, nice. Astarian. <laughs> you fucking what, mate? Let's go. Queensby rules. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? No, oh, you're so pouty. <laughs> oh, the booboo didums. Did the himbo get a tadpole? Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm going to threaten the shit out of you. You arrogant little... Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar yes. eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? Mm. <sighs> Where's the one where I can threaten him? <laughs> fuck him, but also fuck him. No, look, Millie said it and I have to agree. If you fancy a Starian, you need to go to therapy and and grow up. Be honest. <laughs> he is a he is a is a point of adoration for youngsters, all right? I didn't say grow up. There are plenty. No, of I'm people. adding that. Oh, okay. Yeah, nobody in their thirties would fuck a Starian. Okay. Well, have better therapy, Safi. <laughs> That's the only advice I can give you. Yeah. This man is entirely made of red flags. Anybody, I reckon you just re you would reach a certain age, and I would say it's somewhere in your late. You know, depending on the individual, mid mid thirties to mid forties, where a Starian just becomes, oh, just shh. Just shush. I mean, just, oh, you're just too much. Too much energy. Um, all right. It's, um... Yeah, it's the I can fix him mentality. And mm -hmm. my brain's just like, oh, sweetheart. Just get somebody oh, that so isn't broken. Fixable. He needs to fix him. And then he's ready for a relationship. Trust me. Mm -hmm. I've attempted relationships with people like this in the past. Just yeah. wait. And now Millie has learned... The, to pick somebody like me who is already perfect who's already broken what no mm. no no you've just found someone who you're like i can't it's be bothered right. to fix him so it's shit, fine am i dating a starian yeah yep shit wow although valen makes a good point what? i am already fixed given the vasectomy <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Found oh, someone. Quite the selling point, I'll yeah. be honest. Yeah. No babies. No babies out of this. All right. Put the knife away and I'll tell you everything. I'm <laughs> not an idiot. It has to be those tentacled monsters. Something they did. They took you too. I saw it during whatever just happened. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Oh, look, if it isn't the man with no opinion on cheese has arrived in chat. Food crimes, Tom. <sighs> Fuck's sake. 
Who doesn't have an opinion on cheese? Yes, it's starting instantly, Captain Rice Cake. Yeah. I'm gonna let chat chat pick. Rice cake cheese apathia. That's a word, I just made it up. Yeah. Meh is not an opinion, Tom. What is your opinion on cheese, Tom? If it's that you're apathetic to cheese, that is still an opinion. It's a valid opinion. Cheese is all right. <sighs> Try I mean. You're Welsh! Like, cheese should be loved by the Welsh. You literally have a dish called, well, wait, Welsh rabbit. It's got cheese on it. Isn't that the national dish? I don't know. Cheese on what? Cheese on toast. Yeah. We don't go down cheese mines. Okay. How much are we going to threaten a starion? Apology accepted. Not a chance. Can't blame you. I can and I will. Glad to see we're all caught up. It's snippy. It's a little bit passive aggressive. You'd better have more to offer than apologies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm out of wine and flowers, so I hope an introduction will suffice. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. He loves himself so much. I love the little exhale he says after his name. Astarian. <laughs> like he's oh. about to just flounce. He's permanently on the lookout for a chaise lounge to fall down onto. <sighs> That's his entire life. Um, I'm in quite the state, but I think I'm Conilingus. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to nod because I'm so unimpressed with his introduction. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Well, that's, that's nice. I'll let chat. Let's see where chat fall. I'm either going with number one or number four. Astarian. <laughs> It has the, like, brackets, surely you've heard of me, close brackets. Okay, 35. It's quite close. Mm -hmm. We're going to go with an ambivalent nod, much like Tom's opinion on cheese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're nodding. The strong and silent type. All right. Please tell me you at least know something about these worms. Um... <clears throat> I know we don't want them in our heads, yeah. No. Of that much we can be certain. These worms are already affecting me. I can feel it. Now, what to do about it? Hmm. Oh. I mean, I want him in the party because it's Neil and I want to stab him at some point. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah. Let's ask what his plan is. Well, getting out of here for a start, then finding anyone who knows about these worms. I need an expert. Someone who knows how to control these things. Mm -hmm. Control them, I want them gone, and I need company with the road. Why not come with me? I don't want anything that formal, you know? I don't want to officially invite him with us. Um, yeah, I want to get chat's pulse. On chat's pulse. <clears throat> if you ever loot a chaise lounge, please let Astarian carry it the entire game. <laughs> yes, I shall do it. I'm off to chew a rice cake while giving a 5 out of 10 online rating for a piece of cheddar I ate earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, Tom. Enjoy. Enjoy. I guess. Also, please, please. Please, can can we play some some more Pendragon? Please, please, and can we have um Jay and Doc in the group too? Because I think they would fit in really well. Just saying. Yeah, Tom, get on with it. God, everyone, bully Tom to make Pendragon more Pendragon, please. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha! Sweet Jesus, I hear yes. I don't know about you, Millie. Yeah, that's what I heard. I heard yes. Yeah. That's a strong opinion, Tom. Mm -hmm. That's what a strong opinion looks like. Yeah, you turn some of that attention towards cheese, all right? Leading to my Just rice gnawing cake. on a rice cake like a sad mouse. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to offer... Chat want to actually fully invite him. Mm. Well, yes, of course. 
But first things first. Oh, and I'm gone. I was ready to go this alone. Okay, we got him. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't a bad idea. Safety in numbers, after all. Can we dress him up As like a clown? I hate to turn down an invitation. You actually can. All right. <laughs> maybe I'll see you there. Good luck. Put him out of our misery, yeah. See you're flooded with visions of a perfect, pretty corpse. Oh. Oh, oh Millie. What? Why are you so evil? Because I was told to be. Well, I'm do, just doing my job. You do everything <laughs> that you're told to do? <laughs> In that booth, mainly. Unbelievable behavior. <laughs> now you can start the underwear swapping mini game. How do I underwear swap people? Best be careful. <laughs> Just as a heads up, Jay. Yeah. It's five past ten. What does that mean? Just just to keep you aware of the time. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Well, when do you need to stop, Millie? I mean, I don't need to stop, but I should flop at some point. Because this yes, we should flop at some point. I have some levels. Oh, yeah, level up. Oh, CK's <laughs> raiding. Hey, CK. Well, now we have to do a little bit more, don't we? Do it. All right. I'm going to take you away on cam, Millie, because i got to go and do yeah. the thing. I'll be back. Ah, oh, hello, Raiders. Should we go and do the thing? Oh, yes. Wait. Let's do the Welcome thing. Welcome on the adventure. Jay was just in the middle of deciding when, where, how, and how deliciously he would murder a starion in his sleep and then decorate his pretty corpse like a pinata at a holiday celebration where the family comes over and you want them to see the darkest inside of your nightmares. So you'll dress up pretty boy Astarion in his most favorite jacket and fill him full of lots of lovely, sweet, dark goodness, and then you'll beat him. Welcome in, Raiders. We're playing a Dark Urge playthrough with Amelia Tyler, the narrator of Baldur's Gate 3, who is backstage right now, filling up on peanuts. Come in, sit down, just enjoy yourselves, really. Kenneth, my intern, will be along any moment now to offer you a selection of tea, coffee, and hot chocolates. And if you're very lucky, he might show you his macrame he's been working on. But now it's time for the weather with Connie Lingy. Oh, hi! Interesting glasses. Where'd you get them? The shop. <laughs> Hi, Millie. Hi. Hi. Look, Hello. everybody. Look, this is the, the Amelia Tyler narrator person over there. Look. Hi. Look, in very low reg Twitch hey, guest star webcam, which is useless. Why is it so bad quality? I don't know. We should try Discord next oh, time, I reckon. Wait. Yeah, we really Welcome should. We really adventure. should. We could try it now, but it's such a pain in the. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Oh, Fuck Welcome on the adventure. No, we won't try it now because it'll take no, time. No, we'll try it next time. We'll do it next time. It's Hi, the narrator CK, lady. We get a shout out for CK, please. Welcome in, Raiders. Yes, we are playing Baldur's Gate 3, or as now we're going to call it the underwear swapping mini game. Um, <laughs> and uh, that lady over there, what you can see on the television screen, is the narrator, what we have been listening to. Yeah. Yeah. Over Hi, it's me. Uh, but I pretend to be other people. How do we? Oh, underwear! There we go. Okay. So I can take off the simple robe. Oh! Oh, goody! Good gosh! Goody, good gosh! Oh, look, look! Shadow Heart's very, like, uh. Oh, gosh! Just hidden behind her shield. Do you know what I mean? I don't blame her. I like your underwear. Holy oh, that's, shit! Oh, that's, that's going to chafe. Oh, that's that's metallic, isn't it? I don't know, but that's cool as fuck. I want all this underwear, please. All right, who should we swap? I'm gonna swap. And I put that one there. <laughs> yeah, because this is what women do. Like, oh, yeah. If you want to come to camp with me, we'll have a pillow fight and swap underwear. Done it. I'll be honest though, I think 
This is going to be a really weird compliment, right? But the underwear suits the characters really well. Like, that looks wrong, if you know what I mean. Like, yeah. Shadow Heart's underwear suited Shadow Heart. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That looks that looks right. That's so weird, but also impressive. Okay, so that goes back there, and the armor goes. Can you just double click? I'm guessing to. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Is this? Isn't... Yeah, it doesn't violate Twitch terms of service. Like nudity is fine if it's part of the game and is not gratuitous. So if I permanently had them naked and zoomed in all the time to purposefully look at the cocks and the vulvas and the boobs then that would violate TOS. But if it's in the game um, and you're not being gratuitous about it, like you're just swapping characters' clothes. Like there's nothing you can do about that. So it's fine. Uh, yes, I do want to get a Starian. Who's the one that has the harness? The harness guy. I keep seeing a Starian in, in the harness. Yeah, that's way <laughs> well. It's amazing. Okay, let's... Is this why you're Dark Urge? It's not that you want to murder people. No. It's that you, want to, you go around and steal everyone's underwear. You yeah, just want to steal everybody's underwear. Hello, I'm Millie. My panties. My panties. Panty thief. Panty. Panty oh. thief. Mm. I hate that word. We did have the, the conversation briefly in our in our Discord, which if you want to talk about underwear names, there's the Discord for it. Um, <laughs> that there is no good sexy name for underwear. Like underwear is as close as it gets. Right, like knickers, lingerie. rubbish. Lingerie seems like it's quite formal. Oh, take off your lingerie. Like, uh, like, do you know what I mean? Wait, do you put the emphasis on the wrong part of lingerie? No, I was just doing that because I know that it would annoy you. Set. No, it's lingerie. lingerie. But I like just messing, mixing it up a little bit. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do... <gasps> Next time we get down to business, Millie, uh, which I believe is scheduled... Uh, I mean, just calling it that has pushed it back another three months. That's just fine. To let you know. Is I okay. am going now. I'm going to channel uh, Matt Berry uh, wait, when he's like, "Take off on the adventure. Take off your underpants." Would that work? Could, could you shout "Volva" like father? Yes, but what I will do is <laughs> I will go. Take off your unterpenses, and then as you drop unterpenses, I will point and scream Volva! <laughs> like that. Perfect. And then throw myself out of the window. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Default Volva! <laughs> All right. That is, that is a hell of a genital read, isn't it? It is. Default it is. Would, would channeling Brian Blessed help? Volvo's alive! Oh, I have a blind breasted sounds. Father! Subclass. Right, what am I doing, chat? Leveling up, apparently. Yeah, please. Volvo's alive! I used to be able to do Brian Blessed. I haven't done it in a long time. Uh, subclass Abjuration. Okay. Wards, banishes enemies, nullifies magic. Defend themselves? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh... Powerful attacks and enchantments. Possible. Evocation. Walk through the Valley of Shadow... Uh, sorry, Necromancy. Shadow Death and make lots of friends there. That's also tempting. Also tempting. Conjuration. Also tempting. Oh my god, this is difficult. I don't think I want enchantment. I don't think I want divination. I don't think I want illusion. Transmutation, possibly. So I get to pick... Oh god, okay. So I get to pick one subclass and then two spells within that subclass, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh my god, Thank necromancy you, then. I hope you're enjoying it. Charmant person. I think I've already got that. Uh blind creatures. False life. No. Featherfall is actually quite useful from what I've seen of people just using it to just jump down like huge fucking caverns and mm -hmm. unlocking massive new areas. But if you're playing like full on Dark Urge murder murder, uh -huh. what can you do with necromancy at later levels? Because that could be fucking hilarious if well, you're just 
yeah. murdering your way through and turning them into rules of yours. That's what I'm Getting thinking. Them, yeah. Although the blade in necromancer. Mm. See, none of these, because these are only level one spells. Uh, they're not particularly necromancery, if you know what I mean. You could raise a family. Oh, Aww. I like that. That's a play on words in several different ways. Ooh, juicy. False, false life is, yeah. That's quite handy, actually, at the moment. Low level, give myself a, kind of a couple of extra hit, or hit points. <clears throat> Disguise self. Thunder wave. 2d8 and thunder damage. Okay. Witch bolt. Link yourself to a target with a bolt of lightning. Deal an additional 112 lightning damage each turn by activating it. Hmm. Oh, there's just so much. Playing this certainly should make us all aware of how just fucking in-depth and convoluted um, D&D &D <laughs> is. Okay, I'm going to take Thunder Wave. Just because it sounds fun. And you can respec, right? Like, it's not mm -hmm. like we can't respec. And I keep Chromatic Orb. It's a level one evocation. Not too bothered about the Fog Cloud. In fact, let's do that. Oh, yeah! Oh, God, I have to level up both characters? This is the bit where I cry. Okay, we're going to do it. Okay. Oh, okay, that was just a level up. Cool. Mm -hmm. And then I need spells. I'll leave her spells as they are, I think. I don't want to mess around too much. <clears throat> okay. Close. All right, let's just... I think what we'll do is we'll just finish off this last little bit of the crash site here. And then we'll um, we'll call it a night, Jack, because it's getting on for half Crash's ten where we monster. are. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now if only you didn't feel compassion. Fuck that noise! Compassion. Oh. Oh, is the mind flayer doing this to us? <laughs> Give it a kiss. I'll kiss its foot with my ass. No, wait. That means it's going to kick me in the ass. Millie, how dare you do such good reads? <laughs> I'm not stepping it away and I'm not giving in to compassion, so I'm going to be fucking furious. And Chad agrees. Good, Chad. Wonderful. Come with me on the ride. Yes, you feel hate. Yes. And you deserve to be punished. Uh, no, for it. Millie, no. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind. Forcing you to love it. I don't want to be rough. The feeling slips. <gasps> okay. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. I love that noise that they did when uh -huh. it proceeds. Uh, it's like it's like Larian deserve all the credit for it, but it reminds me of like those of Christopher Nolan sort of whoosh, kind of. Yeah, it's got that. It's so yeah. good. And when it's in your mind doing that to you, that the sound that they've put in in the rumbles and the mm. swirl. Love it. And no, Carlo, I won't stop talking about whipping. Yeah. That's yeah, Carlo. All right, we're gonna tell me what to do. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna we're gonna do a roll. We're gonna scum save. Scum save. Save scum. There we go. Uh, it's only a DC 10 and we got a plus three. No, I really want to kill this thing because I've got problems. I haven't killed anything yet tonight. Not outside of combat. <laughs> oh, I know what you were saying, Carlo. All right, let's let's, let's go. <laughs> nice. OK, that's good. Guidance is a cantrip. It costs nothing. Your minds fuse, lusting for something that is gone. 
But then its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive, and with your very body, you can provide. Lean in for a kiss? I mean, I kind of want to just to see what this game's going to ruin me, Millie, because I want to try everything with every single option. <laughs> I'm like, if we kiss it, do we do we mal like meld and become one and gain extra power or does it kill us? Kissy kissy. Did you save? Find out. We've done it now. <sighs> Fuck the mind flayer, Jay. <laughs> Oh, uh, I mean, I would ask chat, but chat, I'm just going to say kiss it. I want to, I'm trying to get to the option where I just skewer the fuck. <laughs> not, uh, not with my valve. <laughs> Amazing. Hmm. Ah. Uh. I'm gonna fuck it. I'm gonna kiss it. I'm gonna kiss it. Mm. Get away from that thing. Shut up! Don't kick shame. Oh. Okay. No. We're clearly. This is clearly the bad choice. But I kind of want to go down this line and then see what, and then come back and do the other one. Oh yeah. Warm, wet tentacles wrap themselves around your head, and for the first time in your life, you're perfectly happy. Wait, did we just die? <laughs> I thank you. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. All right, let's uh, let's load game. Uh, I'm assuming it's that one. These are not just tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Did a literary quick save after you died. There are some things that I've had to narrate in this game where after the line, we were just like, yep, yep, this is our job. It's a thing. Mm. Yep. It needs sustenance to survive. And with right. your very body, you can provide. I mean, I guess that we could. I mean, it's only a DC five, but don't jinx it. Oh well, I've got four. <laughs> oh no, it's only a D one D four, so it could still be bad. Noise. Oh, nice. No, you can Fuck you, mind fondler. Mind fondler. <laughs> mind fondler. That's it now, chat. They're not mind flayers. No, no tentacle face. <laughs> mind fondlers. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Oh! <gasps> Close those eyes forever. <sighs> the, the the fucked up part of me is like, no, leave it to die slowly. But also, I've been really good and I haven't murdered anyone. Please. Just a little treat. Just a little just a murder. Just a little murder. Just a little murder before bedtime, I promise. Your companions like you more. Uh, Dorkin. Just a, it's just a. Death is too good for it. <laughs> just a little murder is what for thin. It's wafer thin. <laughs> All right, chat, we did it. I am going to hit save there. And I'm going to come back uh, to the main screen. Oh, oh look. Friend. It's that there, Amelia Tyler. Enormous. Oh, hi. It's on my screen. It is. Hi. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll do that. I'll press that button. I'll do that button. Why am I over your face? You need to do a save. Because I had made you big to show off, uh, show off dice. Oh. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, oh god, my steam is sinking. Oh god, steam is sinking. Uh, what? You need to do a save from the escape menu? Why? I've got a quick save. Is that not is that not the same? Is that not the same? No! 
It's cause, um, yeah, it's cause, hang on. It's cause Steam is sinking. Two seconds. All right, there we go. All right, let me just close uh, Steam down. Oh, they let it finish the save. I don't know. Oh God, come on Steam. I wish there was a way to stop Steam from just randomly doing that when you finish up. Hang on. Finishing Steam Cloud Sync. No, I'm trying to purposefully stop you from doing that. Come on. Wow, these are big, big saves files. There we go. All right. There you go, everybody. Hello. You can turn off Cloud Sync. Yeah, but the trouble... Can, you can do it per game, can't you? I believe, mm -hmm. Damon. Yeah. Because, uh... Yeah, it winds me up, especially when you're streaming and you stop a game and then Steam immediately starts uploading a, a thing with Bob. Uh, so yes, chat. There you go. I'm going to hit refresh. Advise you to refresh so you can catch up for the end of stream. Uh, Millie. Hello, Millie. Hi. Hello, hello Jay. How hello. are you? I'm How high. did you enjoy it? Am I what? Your first experience of Baldur's Gate 3. How did you enjoy it? I'm a little bit in love with it. No. Millie, I might be late to bed tonight. Just... You know. Dark edge stuff. Oh, oh yeah, dark edge stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna go and walk around in the garden. Ugh. Like that. Like that. Is that blood? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, right. Hi. 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 Uh, yeah. So, uh, anything else you want to say, Millie? Uh, there is so much I want to talk about that I can't talk about quite yet, but there's some cool stuff going on. Um, what can I talk about? We're going to be at uh, Comic-Con in London uh, at the end of October. Me and the rest of the cast of Baldur's Gate 3, we are going to be there. The whole cast is going to be there on the Friday, and then me and all the companions are going to be there Saturday and Sunday doing signings and stuff and meet and greets. Uh, we're going to be doing panels on the Friday and the Saturday. Uh, so come along and say hi and um, make me feel a bit less weird about whatever the fuck my life is right now. Yeah. Do it, chat. Yeah. And I won't be there, so it's up to all of you to make sure that she has a good time. Yeah. Oh, and go, go over to my TikTok and watch stuff or, or on YouTube because that makes me happy. Um... And hopefully I will be getting the Discord up and running at some point this week because I'm going to be streaming at some point soon too. And because it embarrasses her greatly, on TikTok she is the Amelia Tyler. Or on YouTube you are just at Amelia Tyler, I believe. And on Twitch she is twitch.tv forward slash Amelia Tyler. So go and follow her on all the things. Do it now! <laughs> E. Uh, and Cassie, sake. yes, we will be doing a whole bunch more events. Uh, we are announcing those as they become official. Uh, so watch the space. Go follow me on Twitter. I'm just Amelia Tyler on that. And it is still called Twitter. I Miss. don't care what he says. Oh, fuck you, Fuller. Now I want a Twix. <gasps> I need to go to bed immediately so that I don't need yeah, food. I'm yeah. We can have a coffee. That's filling. Sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, right. Well, um, do you want to do you want to go and then I'll say goodbye? Or do you yeah, wanna... I'll go. I'll go. Do you want to just, just fuck off? I know, I know when I'm not welcome. Yeah, you're not welcome at all. Uh, thank yeah. you, Millie. Thank you for hanging out. I'll see you. No in... worries. Thank you all for coming. I'll, I'll see you in a bit. All right. See you in a bit. Bye. Uh, bye. All right, Millie is gone, chat. She's left, which means you're all going to leave now. And I will be alone once more in the dark urge silence. Uh, thank you for hanging out, everybody. Thank you for the uh, all the bits, subs, and follows. Um, usually, I'm much more responsive, but it was a bit crazy tonight with, uh, with Millie on, of course. So thank you uh, to everyone. If I missed saying thank you for any of the gift subs and all that kind of lovely, lovely stuff, thank you ever so much. Uh, it really does mean a lot, especially as I quit my job last week to do... Uh, to do more! To do more! Ugh, like a fucking idiot. So thank you very much. Um, also, as a reminder, for those who are new here, 10% of everything uh, that comes in, like my Twitch payment, 
uh, goes to Special Effect, which is an amazing charity that helps disabled folks play games. So if you have gifted bits or subs or whatever tonight, 10% of all of that, or even if you've watched ads, 10% of that goes to Special Effect. So thank you very much for that. Uh, I am back Thursday. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday this week, chat. I'm back on Thursday with more Baldur's Gate 3, carrying on this playthrough. Uh, I don't think Millie will be joining me. Um, I don't know what she's got on. I think she might have tabletop that night. Don't know. Um, but if not, we'll see if she wants to join me. But I will be back on Thursday with more Baldur's Gate, regardless. And then Friday, we're carrying on our Final Fantasy 16 playthrough, unless you all bully me into playing more Baldur's Gate. So, <laughs> who knows? Uh, that's it, chat. Thank you for hanging out. If you want to join the Discord, it's right there. Uh, I have just started a new YouTube channel as well for all the VODs from the Twitch streams as well. So if you can go and uh, throw a sub at that channel, that would be great and muchly appreciated, etc, etc, etc. But thank you for hanging out, chat. I hope you had fun. That's a great fucking game. I just say awesome t-shirt. It's so good, right? Hang on. I'll show it off. This is what an adult man does for money on the internet. Yeah, yeah it's a very, very good t-shirt. Love Ratchet and Clank. So very much. Um, and if you are new here and you don't know anything about me, that's probably sensible. But I'm Jay, I'm a voice actor. For video games and animation, such as uh, Horizon Forbidden West, uh, Elite Dangerous, Frostpunk, uh, a whole bunch of other stuff, Netflix animated series and all that kind of stuff. But if you are into Bloodborne, like me, uh, there is a little, uh, a little five and a half hour Bloodborne audiobook. If you're into that shit over on YouTube, uh, go and give it a listen because I'm a big, big Souls fan. Um, yeah, Jay likes Bloodborne. I know, right? Completely new. <laughs> but thank you, everybody. Uh, yeah, come join the Discord, come play. But I'll be back on Thursday with more Baldur's Gate. Uh, oh, she's going raid. Let's go and raid somebody. Why don't you go do a Ridley raid on somebody? Hang on, let's go have a look. Dark Souls 1 is better. Okay, can we ban JFC Fuller, by the way, please? Okay, great, thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Who is on? Who is on? Oh, hold. There we go. All right, I am going to go and drop you with a wonderful chap called Maya. We don't discuss Dark Souls 2, all right? Framey piece of shit. I did, I did a playthrough uh, last year. I can't remember where we did all of DS1 and the DLC, DS2, DLC, DS3, DLC. Fucking hell, DS2, DLC drove, almost drove me to insanity. And I've done a Bloodborne BL4 run, okay? <laughs> I've done Bloodborne BL4. <laughs> right, go have fun over with Maya there playing Star Citizen. Go and, uh, go and say hello. And I will see you on Thursday, chat, for more Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, fuck. Look how many fucking follows. Look how fast my credits have got to go, you shit. How dare you follow? Yeah, you made it, Vita. Right in time, right on time. Perfect timing. Credits go. Whee! All right, that's it. There you go. Fuck off, you are a lot. Have fun. Bye.